Hello. You all know why I'm here. Watch a Leafs game with Steve Dangle, presented by Molson Canadian. I'm Steve Dangle. Click like. Click subscribe. Tell all your friends. What do you got to do? What do you got to do? What are you trying to do? You're trying to win the Stanley Cup, right? You're trying to win the Stanley Cup. And in order to do that, you have to win four rounds. Four. That's a lot of rounds. Tonight, the Leafs can win round one and bring themselves one step closer to winning the Stanley Cup. To taking it away from the Tampa Bay Lightning. Come one step closer to drinking out of the Stanley Cup. And you know how you can become one step closer to drinking out of the Stanley Cup. Or perhaps... The next best thing to drinking out of the Stanley Cup. I believe they call that the Molson Canadian limited edition Stanley Cup batch. You see, that's that's what they call a plug, kids. It's what they call it. You see how I got I got that in there? I got that in there. It's a limited edition Stanley Cup batch by Molson Canadian. It was actually kissed mwah, on the mouth by the Stanley Cup in the brewery for Molson Canadian. If you can't drink out of the cup directly, this is the next best thing, the Stanley Cup batch. What a way to celebrate. What a way to celebrate. And you know what? You could also celebrate by treating yourself. Treating yourself to a little bit of shopsportsnet.store. Maybe go to the Sportsnet store and get yourself a, a dang it shirt to commemorate the, uh, the Tampa Bay Lightning and their dang it of having their two-year Stanley Cup reign come to an end. Perhaps you could get yourself some hat pick stuff. If it's one bite, it's biting. If it's two bites, it's eating. A little beer stein. I wonder what limited edition Stanley Cup batch you could put in that. Welcome to the Paddle Save Emporium. You got stuff for the little guys and gals. If you're a goaltender, tend the goal. Dang it with my face on it. Shopsportsnet.store. Ladies and gentlemen, you might notice it's different attire tonight. Oh, yes, you might notice it's different attire tonight. I don't do a great Paul Bear, even when I have my entire voice. But it's all black attire tonight for the Tampa Bay Lightning. Oh, yes, you have to believe it. This is how you have to think. Steve, you're tempting fate. Steve, you're going to jinx it. That's what you all told me. Last game, when I tweeted before the game, the Leafs are winning this game. Enjoy. First period, oh, do my mentions get hammered. Oh, do they get hammered. And then what happened, Steve? This aged well. Lots of snark. Lots of talking reckless in the QTs. And my question is, and then what happened? This did age well. The Leafs come back and erase a 2 nothing deficit at home. They're building. They come back and win and take. Game five from the Tampa Bay Lightning. And I've been asked this question many times. Leafs finally with an opportunity to win their first playoff round since 2004. Wouldn't it be better to do in front of their home fans in game seven? And you're all being very selfish. Because wouldn't it be better for all the fans in Tampa to say goodbye, to pay their respects to their back-to-back -back reigning Stanley Cup champions by the end of the game, once reigning Stanley Cup champions. Wouldn't it be great for those amazing fans in Emily to send them off properly as the Toronto Maple Leafs 
erase a streak. A terrible streak that began in 2004. And the reign of the Tampa Bay Lightning can rest in peace. Andre Vasilevsky, 16-0? and In his last 16 games following a loss. That means he's lost 16 games over the last few seasons in the Stanley Cup playoffs. And we know at least three of them have come at the hands of the Toronto Maple Leafs. This is it. This is the time. This is the night. I love you all deeply and dearly. I don't want to see any of you Saturday night. Night off. Bar night. Movie night. I don't care if you sit at home and read a book. The Toronto Maple Leafs have one mission tonight. And that is no practice Saturday. Advance. This is your time. You stole one at home. This this series, for the most part, has been back and forth and back and forth. You stole one a little bit in Game 5. You hammered them in Tampa in Game 3. Can you get the emphatic victory tonight? I don't want to hear any of this stuff about Andre Vasilevsky, like he's the undertaker, talking about his streak. All streaks come to an end. Tonight, the Toronto Maple Leafs must play the role of the Thundertaker. We'll take the air out of this building in Tampa. Game is underway. Leafs, Lightning, Game 6. Heart rate already over a buck ten. In game number five, and here is Hedman leading the Lightning into I'm the feeling it. zone. Folks, so the coffee is good. Cousin, to the far side, Anthony Sorelli up with Braden Point and Alex Kalorn in that matchup against the Matthews line. In behind the net for Kalorn, a couple I'm, of I'm too, I'm too into it to even talk. I gotta, I gotta make that adjustment. Leafs hemmed in their own zone a little bit. Not the greatest start. There's also not a whole lot going on, but that can always change in a flash with the Tampa Bay Lightning. As much as I want the Leafs to get an emphatic victory to end this series, nothing comes easily with the Tampa Bay Lightning, does it? They will not go quietly. At least for the Lightning. And Matthews backtracks as Matthews line starting. No more Galaxy Brain. Sheldon Keefe going non Galaxy Brain. Kerfoot and Mikheyev starting with Tavares. That's how they started last game. Obviously, they can shift to Willie and Kerfoot if need be. Big hit behind the net. Foot deep in the leaf zone. Way. That's a bit of an overconfident pass there. And Kerfoot. With a nifty play to get it out from behind the net, and the Leafs do find a way to exit the zone. If they could uh, cross the offensive uh, blue line, that'd be cool. With possession, I mean. Shoot, sorry. Should have specified, guys. Should have specified. That's my bad. That's my bad. Through two minutes, Tampa has the puck almost the whole time, but no shot on goal. Oh, Pierre. Oh, Willie. Shoots. He got the best of Andre Vasilevsky in a one-on-one -on -one duel last game. Sniped on him. Vasilevsky almost got it. If you've ever watched The Fast and the Furious, he didn't almost have me. Stamkos, up and over. Puck leaves the zone, and the league's got a two-on-one. Here comes Willie with Engvall. Willie, you got to shoot that, buddy. Soft pass on the two-on-one. That's a tough call. Deep in the series in game six. Willie looking for the call. He's not going to get it. You got to get up, bud. You got to get up, bud. Leafs need you. Willie easily playing his best game of the series. Easily in game five. 
try to get something on Tavares was getting a lot of love, and he deserved a lot of love. But he can't play his best game of the series in Game 5 if Willie doesn't. Willie's got to carry. JT's got to finish. That looked like a stop there from Jack. Oh, Willie. You know, I got to trust him to know better there because... Bogosian was his teammate just last year. And I wonder if there's something he remembers of Zach that made him say, you know what, the move is to pass. I can get this through. Lightning, two men deep. Leafs can't clear it. Harry! This is a good matchup for the Leafs. This is the, the Tampa's fourth line against the Leafs' top line. Leafs got to get it out of their zone. Oh, it's only partial. Stamkos is out there. Or no, that's Chernak. I always get them confused because of their numbers. And they both shoot right. Very frustrating. What happened to the camera? You saw that, right? That was weird. This is not good. This is not good. There, that's much better, isn't it? That's much better, isn't it? Bunting. Calder nominee to the heart nominee. On. And out. The Leafs are going to need a line change here pretty soon. Point goes one on two, broken up by Muzzin. And he's unable to get past Jake Muzzin. Leafs doing a pretty good job at avoiding uh, chaotic passes in front of their net. Great work to get body position there from the camp. Even great work, uh, better work to knock him down. And oh, oh, this could be, this is a three on two for the Tampa Bay Lightning. Great break up from Brody. Can't get it out though. But now they do. Tavares, great job. 91 on 91. Tavares bumping off Stamkos. Two captains with number 91. Somehow this is dawning on me for the first time. This entire series. Uh-oh, lightning. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Leafs do a good job of getting it wide. Ho, 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 ho. Campbell is a bit out of position there. Justin Hall taking it for a walk. Leafs third lines looked all right. So far tonight. I learned for the second time, like I think I knew this before, and then I forgot, and then I remembered, that David Camp has the symbol of the Deathly Hallows on his stick from Harry Potter. Tonight we'll see if he has the death stick. The Wand of Destiny. Leafs put it on, rebound. Keep it in. A little bit of zone time here. They need more. Tampa's had the lion's share of it so far, even though the shots are 1-1. This is right around the time that I believe it was game five busted open in favor of Tampa. Shots were 1-1. It was a low event game. And oh boy, rebound in front. You got to clear that. See what I mean? See what I mean? Eerily similar. Eerily similar, except the Leafs seem locked. Fourth line shift here. Kasha. Blackwell gets on it. Blackwell. Tries to get it deep. That's uh, bunting back there. I was expecting Spezza. Kasha gets it out. On. Blocked. <sighs> How are we all feeling in the chat? Kalorn fighting to get wide. Can't. Man, Matthews is playing real deep in the leaf zone. Has all night so far. Really committed to a 200-foot game tonight. Nothing has really happened in this game, and I'm already at 130. Whoa, good breakup in the slot, but the Lightning still have it. Lightning looking a little bit more dangerous so far. The Leafs doing a great job behind their own net, but it feels like they're playing with fire a bit, and they might have to make a bit of an adjustment. There's the captain. Putting pressure. Tampa doesn't get a great exit as a result. Results in a turnover. Leafs have it. Leafs try to break it out. Almost a breakaway for Tavares, but he gets it behind the net, and that's his territory. Kerfoot to the point. Oh, Brody. Losing the puck a little bit there. Manages to keep it in. Ilya Mikheyev. He's gotten muscled off the puck a couple times recently. 
in this game recently in the last seven and a half minutes that's the bar for recently now because every moment is do or die this is an elimination game baby Kerfoot rushing to the bench for the line change and we got some funkiness going on here that's Bogosian getting deep for Tampa Giordano bottles it a little bit Leafs managed to get it over the blue line calling for the offside and it looks like they'll get it so pretty good pace to start 754 gone. An anxious moment. Oh, Jack Campbell making that face, making that save off the face of Jake Muzzin. Oh, buddy, that didn't look comfortable at all. How's, how's the breaths? How are we feeling? Watch a Leafs game with Steve Dangle, presented by Molson Canadian. I'm Steve Dangle. Click like, click subscribe, tell all your friends. You got to go black jersey tonight. You got to have the black jersey mentality tonight. And unlike this jersey, you got to give the lightning something that's unreversible. You have to jettison them from the Stanley Cup playoffs. You have to be the first team since the Columbus Blue Jackets in 2019 to knock off the reigning defending back-to-back -back Stanley Cup champions. <laughs> ah. Isn't hockey fun? Isn't this great? Oh, I love it. I love it very much. Uh, I'm sure we got some uh, questions and comments coming from the chat. My wife sent me a text. Are you giving a eulogy right now? In a manner of speaking. Deck. What's been the worst ref call so far? Uh, game four where they said the Leafs didn't win. I, wouldn't, I didn't like that one. Um, honestly, like for the most part, I think the refs have been fine. Um, you could argue that the worst call in this series was a non-call. From game five, you could go with Matthews' hit on Sergeyev. A lot of Lightning wanted that. You could go with Ross Colton, I thought, interfering with Morgan Riley ahead of the uh, tying 3-3 McDonough goal from game five. You could maybe go with Marner's penalty on McDonough, given, uh, I believe, the Lightning had a five-on-three power play after that. And the other thing with Vasilevsky's record, by the way, the Lightning are 16-0 following defeats since 2020. Not Vasilevsky. He was a net for all of them. I mean, yeah. The starting goal. It's not just something he does. It's something the team does. Speaking of things the team does, ice the puck. A little over eight minutes gone. Download the app and see for yourself. Ooh, Michael, who scores first tonight? Call your player. Again, you said adjustments there. Here you got an offensive zone faceoff, so Nylander comes back with Tavares. Tavares. And Mikheyev instead of It's a tough one. Thinking offense I'm going to say Tavares. You know the importance for it's not just because he's out there on the ice right now looking to win a faceoff against Nick Paul. But he won't. Tampa looking to break it out. It's not crisp, though. Who is second in the Stanley Cup and the Leafs will actually get it back in. Willie already back with John Tavares. I guess that was for the Ozone draw there. No penalty. I'm expecting this game to be uh, called a little differently than... Uh, well, basically every game except for uh, the back 40. <laughs> back 30, definitely, from game five. That, that game, someone sent me a question for my LFR video after the game. So did they switch officiating crews? Whoa! Matthews with a deceptively dangerous chance. Ah, Matthews can't quite hold it in. This is going to be a partial three on two. Matthews gets back in support. And it works. Leafs break up the play. Brody not looking comfortable in front of the Leafs net. But he makes a big block there. Matthews so committed to defense tonight. You can already tell. In a 200-foot game as he brings it all the way back down. 
This has to be a work of art for that young man. 60 goal scorer. Has to be his best game of his career. Marner. Oh, poised and patient play. That could have been a turnover. Marner behind the net now. Curls, fires. We've seen that work before. To Matthews, the Lightning used the air to get it out. No ice. Labushkin chased into the leaf zone. The Leafs will get it out. Kerfoot gets it deep for Engvall. Engvall fighting for position. Kerfoot keeps it. Oh! In front to camp. Ooh, I will remind everyone is holding the death stick. Probably the least best chance of the game. That was a good shift. Engvall, I, I, I like that he was fighting off Bogosian there, but I also would have liked to see him go for the puck. Gets the stick in right at the last second there. Oh, 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 oh. Come on. Ozone draw for David Camp. You could uh, count those on two hands max in the series so far. In the first four games, I believe he had one. Game five, I think he had a few more. Oh, the heart rate monitor does not feel accurate. It feels way higher. I had a fully caffeinated coffee for this one. It was, I don't know why. Curve it in front. Engvall. Engvall. What happened? Oh, the net's off. That'll do it. Normally would go to commercial here, but because it was the lightning knocking off their own net, they don't get the luxury. They don't get to change. And what is Shelly do? Well, of course, Austin Matthews comes on. Here's Trainer Chad is in the chat. At this side, Bogosian. Take your pick, Bogosian and Hedman both. Keeping an eye on the heart rate. Off, so Hedman knocked that off, so the Leafs will get the ozone draw. They got the big boys out there, which your Dano and Hall. A very offensively capable pairing. And, you know, if we're going to hammer Hall for his mistakes, and he has made mistakes in the series, he had a great game. Five. Whoa! When it comes to save, they don't ask how they, they ask how many. And Campbell, I believe, uh, mustering a laugh somehow. Campbell knocks it all the way up into the air. <laughs> you, know what? you know what we can laugh about it now we can laugh about it now uh you ever you ever see baseball players on the highlights and one of them's like i got it and the other one's like i got it and then they drop the ball and you're like aren't you professional baseball players how did you make that mistake what are you stupid It's even it's even tougher when you don't have the practice. I, I can't imagine that situation happens too often uh, between a defenseman and their goalie. Watch the Leafs game with Steve Dangle, presented by Molson Canadian. I'm Steve Dangle. Click like, click subscribe to this right here, Sportsnet YouTube channel. Tell all your friends. Justin, do you have any breathing exercises you use? Uh, not really. <laughs> I just breathe deeply. Often. And I can't do any breathing exercises right now because allergies are murdering me. I'm sure you couldn't tell, or I don't know if you could tell during the game five stream, but I was talking like this for basically the entire game. And the reason you couldn't tell is because I was screaming. So today to compensate for that outside of the dang it's video that I shot, I basically did not speak to myself or anyone. I did not talk out loud today. I did not leave the house. I did not want any tree pollen entering my face. So any breathing exercises I do? Yes, in and out. Master Potato, who will be the star of this game? So far, it looks like Matthews, doesn't it? He's look, He's been active in the offensive zone. He's been active in the defensive zone. He's playing like an MVP should. Mm. Love it. He definitely looks more fresh than he has in recent playoff runs. We're back. 
Puck goes into the corner. Engvall, again, Engvall a little, like he's quick to engage the body, not so much the puck so far tonight. And I wonder if he's going to get any feedback on the bench because that's the second time that's happened now. And it didn't cost the Leafs, but it could have. That's got to be the hardest thing to do as a coach. How do you coach the team when nothing's gone wrong? I guess maybe you look at things that could have gone wrong. And for me, for my money, I would flag that. Leafs with numbers, perhaps fortunate because Riley and Labushkin were kind of bunched up there. Both teams obviously going for a line change and the Leafs will break it out. Leafs get it into the offensive zone, but they turn it over. Two men back, though. Both teams very detail-oriented tonight. The Lightning are doing a great job breaking up the Leafs' passes in the neutral zone. Spezza making up for his... Not mistake necessarily, but turnover. Jeez, what a big hit from Labuskin. We got a man down. Puck in the corner, puck in front of the net. Oh, no! Get it out! Into the bench is fine. Into the bench is fine. It's not a penalty to put it into the bench. Download the app and see Kasha why Bet365 is the worst. With probably the right play there. I think he shot it right at Jake Muzzin. That's why he was checking on him. That's uh, that's the right call. Perhaps the most dangerous flurry that the Lightning have had so far. I didn't like that at all. The Lightning get the big boys out there for the defensive zone. Well, defensive zone draw for the Leafs. It's Tavares out there, Kerfoot with him, and I imagine Mikheyev on the other side. Got to win this one, JT. And... Oh! Campbell with at least one save in there. I, could, I couldn't breathe in or out. My lungs quit. They quit. They just quit. Okay, so the Lightning follow-up. Probably their best scoring chance with their best scoring chance. That's not good. And also not good is the Leafs ice the puck. So I imagine we'll get those same two out there. So Tavares wins at the Hall. Hall uh, pressured by Palat. Palat manages to turn the puck over after the initial Campbell save off Kucherov. Huge save and huge clear there. I think that was Giordano. Did you see me look around him as if that was going to work? We all do crazy things during the playoffs. Lightning win that one. Chernak puts it on. Gobbled up by Campbell. Gobbled up by Campbell. Man, I didn't love the first goal he allowed in game five. I mean, I didn't like it from anyone on the ice. The left stamp goes way too wide open. But Campbell was stellar. Stellar in game five. And a big reason why the Leafs won. Problem with uh, save percentage over the course of a season is you get too obsessed with it. It hasn't sure hasn't felt like Campbell's cost the Leafs a thing in this series. Willie, what a holy cow! Breaks it out all on his own. Drop pass to Matthews! One! Where did this come from? Willie! What a grog! In the corner creating nightmares for Chernak! Bossing it up! Getting it to the point! Muzzin with patience. Leafs have a little bit of sustained zone pressure. Muzzin's gonna pinch in. And I mean that seemed like an early hit. Matthews behind the net, but he's all alone. Muzzin stepping up. Spezza, oh, giving him some time to recover. That was a uh, dangerous play as this game's opening up a little bit. Both teams still playing rather conservatively, but it's opening up a little bit. Fourth line shift for the Leafs. Here we go. Colin Blackwell in front. Of Spezza! It was Pasha was in front too. Spezza got the rebound. Uh, Spezza keeps it in. Throws it on. Blocks. I like this Blackwell player, man. I like him. I like his hustle. I like this fourth line. They've figured it out. They have an identity. They look like a fourth line. Yes, they're an offensive threat. They got to have uh, less defensive liability 
But you, you gotta have hustle. Can't have a fourth line without hustle. Engvall throws it on, rebound, and he gets to it first. And I'm not, I don't, I don't know what he was going for there, but the Leafs have to clear the zone. Giordano gets it deep. This period has flown by so far, Cam. Is Perry trying to draw the call? He might have drawn it. But the Leafs are about to head to the penalty kill with David Camp in the box. I hope not. There's a save from Vasilevsky. That's that black wall pass to Kasha. And oh, Spence gets that. Probably the Leafs' best scoring chance of the game. Watch a Leafs game with Steve Dangle presented by Molson Canadian. I'm Steve Dangle. Click like. Click subscribe. Tell all your friends. At intermission, I'm going to go away for a little bit. Sorry, that was me hitting the mic. I'm going to go away for a little bit, but you shouldn't. Because we have some entertainment for you, some Sportsnet original content. And some of that was made by Producer Stu or Producer Tom. I think we're going to stick with Producer Stu for now. You might as well just call him Tom Stewart. Because that's his gosh darn name. And he is an investigative reporter for Sportsnet, and he was trying to figure out the conspiracy to keep the Stanley Cup out of Canada. Walking around Toronto with a microphone, looking for the truth, looking for answers, answers. I, I still, I don't know why there's a W. I don't know why there's a W in answers. I don't get it. Maybe that'll be Tom Stewart's next piece. Producer Stu will be your intermission entertainment. And also, uh, I know we have a feature with an actual NHL player. I just forget who it is. Here, let me. Uh... Oh. Who is it? Oh, it's Mike Smith. You know what's funny? I put Tom with fans, comma, followed by nothing. <laughs> so let me, uh, Mike Smith. You told me before the show, and I did not finish writing. Tom Stewart, producer Stu, followed by a feature with... <sighs> Mike Smith of the Edmonton Oilers, who will try to stave off elimination for the Edmonton Oilers tonight. They won't have Darnell Nurse in the lineup because he has a one-game suspension for a headbutt on Philip Deneau. Okay. No penalty for the Leafs. Breathe. The Leafs big boys out there in the offensive zone. Under six minutes to go here. Clean win for Matthews. Brody puts it on. Why? Muzzin will skedaddle backwards. Not a bad call. Matthews is City TV tonight. Everywhere. He's here. He's there. He's every poppy where Austin. Austin. Uh, okay. Game one, that's a penalty. <laughs> Probably. Leafs. Get it in deep. Bunting. Dogged. You know who can use Saturday off? Bunting. You got that hurt knee. You got to heal that knee up. You got to heal that up. Oh, Kucherov almost on a break there. He's looked dangerous so far tonight. And the Lightning look dangerous here. Oh, Kerfoot with good pressure there. Good pressure from Mikheyev. This is a tight game so far. Tight, tight, tight. Lofted back in. Rikachev's going to go in on the four check from his defense. Bushkin pressured behind the net. Ah, Leafs managed to get it out. Tavares shanks it. Lightning re-enter the zone. That's Stamkos in on Labushkin. Labushkin all up on him. Bounce in front of the net. Rebound. Leafs get it out. Whoa, the Lightning have had a few opportunities that they weren't able to get a piece of in front of the Leafs net. Shots on goal favor the Lightning. Shot attempts favor the Leafs. 15 to 10. Missed shots are 5-1 in favor of the Leafs, if you can call that in favor. Would you call that in favor? Leafs have missed five shots. Lightning have missed one. How's that? Justin Hall getting pressured. Tries to get it to David Camp. It doesn't work. Gillian McCann behind the net. Not Ely McKay. Mark Giordano. And it looks like we'll get our first penalty of the game. Are we getting both going off? I think we are. Their stamp post look 
I'm confused as to who it's against. It looked like it was when the Leafs touched the puck, but the Lightning are the ones who look upset. Is it Labushkin's hold on Stamkos? Surely not. No, the Leafs touched the puck many times after that. Is it Nick Paul? Stick between the legs. He feels it. Oh, Justin Hall trip on Nick Paul. Hall put into the Leafs lineup. I believe it was game three. He's gotten into games three, four, and five. Oh, is Nick Paul going for the dive? The game changed game five when Stamkos took a It looks like he is. They're both going. Power play at four and four Remember, I can't hear the feed. Two goals in a minute and 13 to take control. Uh, I'd say the Leafs uh, are pretty fortunate there. And they've owned four on four play so far in this series. They've gotten what? Three four on four goals? We'll try to make it four. Two minutes of four on four here. Under four minutes to go in the first. It's a zero zero game. Muzzin gets it out, but not deep. Matthews is out there with Marner. A lot of skill out there. Hedman with the puck. A lot of skill out there. Hedman goes one on four. Loses the puck. Big hit behind the net, or a big hit attempt anyway from Alex Kalorn. Muzzin brushes it off. Not the greatest pass. The Leafs haven't had a ton of possession here in the first period. Like actual time at the puck, I mean. The Lightning flubbed the pass. Lightning will want to be careful. Kutra. All right, here comes William Nylander. He's looked so dangerous all night. Shoot it! Slap by Vasilevsky. Willie, you got to get back in the play. Tavares with the puck, grinding along the boards. Hasn't lost it yet. Giordano keeps it alive. Tavares doesn't have a lot of room. Drops it for Giordano. Giordano puts it on. Deflected wide. Tavares will go to the corner. I'm literally holding on to my seat. I'm holding on to both arms. Uh, here comes Braden Point. Riley, miscommunication. Oh, Riley had a miscommunication there with Muzzin. I think Muzzin's trying to go uh, get off for a line change. And one of them is. There goes Riley. 40 seconds to go in this four-on-four -four action. Two and a half minutes to go here in the first. Kerfoot puts it back. Oh, bad pass. Pallant scores. Oh, no. Terrible miscalculation by Alexander Kerfoot. What happened there as he cost his team the first goal of the game? Oh, no. We'll have to see what happened. He passed it to no one. Definitely thought someone was going to be there, and they definitely weren't. Muzzin was looking off, and so was, I think that was, was that Brody? Oh, no. Oh, no. Bro neither Brody nor Muzzin was looking at Kerfoot at all. And there's a danger to making a no-look pass to someone who's not looking. Campbell gets a piece of it, but it's not enough, and Andre Palat makes it one nothing. Tampa Bay Lightning with under two and a half to go here in the first period and we're still at four on four action tons of four on four goals in this series that's at least the fourth I know the Leafs have at least three and the Lightning have huh, at least one 40 career playoff goals for Andre Pilat. that is a dang it producer Drew getting in my ear you're not wrong that's a pretty slam dunk one isn't it under two minutes to go here in the first. It's a shame. The Leafs have played a pretty good first period. I thought Tampa's probably looked like the better team, but not much between them. Now the Leafs will play from behind against the Tampa Bay Lightning team that is pretty formidable while up. But the Leafs erased a 2-0 lead last game. Let's see if they can do it again. Here's Bunting. Gets it on. Can't get it through. Back from Giordano. Oh! Oh, the Leafs avoid disaster there. And the Leafs catch the lightning on the line change. Here comes Marner, shoots! Stopped by Vasilevsky. That was a very heads-up play, but you can't be standing flat-footed there because here come the lightning. Braden Point, up and over. I believe that'll hit the netting and we'll get a whistle. That was a great read. Think you're going one way, Tampa Bay trying to make a change, and Gosh. it was McDonough coming back like a rocket. There's another life, like there's an alternate timeline where Mitch Marner is like an Olympic figure skater, 
Olympic fig, uh, uh, speed skater, short track, long track. Got to be one of the best skaters in the NHL. One of the most versatile skaters in the NHL. I don't think he wins many fastest skater competitions. The best edges. There it is. I think he's got some of the best edges in the NHL. Leafs lose that faceoff. Lightning have a little bit of pressure here. They put it on. William Nylander, I wonder how long he's going to be on this fourth line, or third line, rather, because he has had an inspired game so far, and he helps the Leafs exit their zone here. Tavares, streak it up. Willie, play with his feet. It doesn't quite work. Kucherov with the puck, and he's got help. Leafs trying to play him tight. Oh, no! Campbell, big stop! But there's a rebound. Loose puck. you got to get up, buddy. The Leafs survive that shift, but they will take a penalty. It looks like Morgan Riley going to the box. Oh boy, here come the Tampa Bay Lightning. 28 seconds to go here in the first period. Oh boy. Trip on Palat? Is he getting to the feet? I'm not so sure about that. I don't even know if that's the most clear-cut trip so far in this game. Okay. He goes to the box for it. And this is a big face-off. Lightning power play has been... Okay, I thought the ref called that face-off off. I guess he didn't. Lightning already backing up the Leafs and gloves saved by Campbell. A hair under 20 seconds to go here in the first. This harkens back to, I think it was game two, where the Leafs took a penalty very late in the first period. It was a tie game, 0-0 in that one. It's 1-0 Lightning here. And the Leafs weren't able to go into intermission. Still on the penalty kill because the Lightning scored. They have under 20 seconds to kill here. Uh, and getting it out here would go a long way to making that a reality. David Camp for 10 seconds ago gets it deep. Andre Vasilevsky trying to help his team break out. And I think the Lightning will be more than content to head into intermission with the one nothing lead. And over a minute and 30 seconds of power play time to start the second. That was a great first period of hockey. I think that might have beamed Campbell in the mask there. Looking no worse for wear. Dave Riddick takes those pucks on purpose. Not a bad period of hockey from either team, but an errant pass from Alexander Kerfoot to the defense pairing of nobody gives Andre Palat a breakaway and gives the Tampa Bay Lightning a one nothing lead. Watch a Leafs game with Steve Dangle presented by Molson Canadian. I'm Steve Dangle. Click like, click subscribe, tell all your friends. Both teams are trying to punch their ticket to being one step closer to drinking out of the Stanley Cup. And you know what? You know how you could bring yourself one step closer to drinking out of the Stanley Cup. This is at least the next best thing. The limited edition Molson Canadian Stanley Cup batch. It's a limited edition, limited time only batch of Molson Canadian that was kissed by the Stanley Cup itself. You can get it at the Lickbo or wherever you, you, you get your suds these days. What, what do you call them? Your pops? Hmm? Brews? Wherever you get those. Stanley Cup batch. Molson Canadian. Limited time only. Limited edition. 40 minutes to go in this game. And I hope you're prepared because there hasn't been a game like this yet in the series, possibly more. We're going to get to some Sportsnet original content right now. We got an interview with Mike Smith, starting goalie of the Edmonton Oilers. But first, before that, we got investigative reporter, producer Stu, Tom Stewart, trying to get to the bottom of it. America is a land full of pastimes, like the commercialization of major holidays, 
apple pie, and of course, in every June, the hoisting of Lord Stanley's Cup. Yes, close to 1 billion seconds, or 7 billion dog seconds, have passed since the last time a Canadian city was crowned champions of the hockey playing world. Now, according to mathematics, this is what's referred to as a statistical anomaly. But according to this reporter, something's just not adding up. Are the Americans conspiring to keep the cup out of Canada? Who's behind this blatant cover-up? What is a spangled banner? Well, it's my job to get to the bottom of it. Excuse me, do you have a second to talk about the conspiracy that's taking place right now? Um, no. Excuse me, ma'am. Do you want to talk about the conspiracy that's taking place in the hockey world right now? No. Do you want to talk about the conspiracy that's actively taking place right now? No, thanks. Nothing to hide, do you? No, not really. No one wants to talk about the conspiracy. We have to be able to talk about this. We have to stand up to the Americans. You can't be scared of them. This is where we stop it. You draw a line in the sand or in the tile, whatever the ground is here. Do you consider yourself a conspiracy theorist at all? Yeah, sure I am. Are you a conspiracy theorist? Depends. So what's your favorite conspiracy? That Avril Lavigne's dead. Okay, you look up the conspiracy about the Stanley Cup, I'll look up Avril Lavigne. Deal. Deal. It's been 29 years since the last time a Canadian team won the Stanley Cup. Obvious conspiracy, right? Obviously. It can't be anything else than that. You want to talk about the conspiracy that's taking part in the hockey world right now? 29 years since a Canadian team last won the Stanley Cup. Who do you think's behind this? Who made the call? It's money. Money. I think it's powers that we don't understand. Uh, I wouldn't think too much into it. Like. Oh, so you think I'm overthinking it? Potentially. I don't know. I think you're a little naive. You hear a lot about sacrificing the body in hockey, right? That's a big saying that goes around. Yeah. Do you think this human sacrifice might have something to do with this conspiracy? <laughs> like, what kind of human sacrifice? Like, uh, you tell me. I've never really thought about that. Let me get back to you on that. Yeah, Yeah, but like a lot of Canadians play for the American teams, right? Double agents. Yeah. So. What do you think we should do with them? Try them for treason? Take their salaries away and make them fund our schools and roads? How about this gentleman has a pizza? Sir, what kind of pizza did you go with today? Duck pizza. A duck pizza? Duck pizza, yeah. 29 years since a Canadian team last won the Stanley Cup. Only Americans have won since then. Okay. Doesn't shoot off any red flags in your head? No. Not really. You don't think there's anything wrong with only Americans winning? No. We're heading over to the Hockey Hall of Fame. I've got a tip from somebody on the street. They may or may not have seen the Stanley Cup in the Hockey Hall of Fame. But I'm a reporter, hard-hitting reporter. You guys know that. I'm going to chase leads. That's what I do. And I've got a hunch that we may be, uh, may be getting to the bottom of something here. Oh, look in here. Look in here, Luis. What's there? We're on to something here. Guess they got wind that a uh, hard-hitting reporter was coming by. Closed up shop. Got to say, a pretty smart move if they had something to hide. Okay, we'll just try this one. Sportsnet here to see if the Stanley Cup is here. Any comment? I don't think they're home. Clearly there is an, an active conspiracy taking place right now. It involves the Americans, Joe Biden, Mike Medano, many of the top American athletes in the current day. But just know this, Canada, this hard-hitting reporter isn't going to stop asking questions. I will get to the bottom of it. Married, four kids, 40 years old. Story of the year right now. What's got into you? What the hell is even that, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Mike Smith! A gorgeous stop there. Great save by Smith! What a glove save made by Mike Smith! I can't believe it! Kind of beating father time a little bit. Like, it feels good. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely been a challenging year. It's kind of ironed itself out as of late, but obviously when you get older, it doesn't get any easier. But uh, if you just stick with it yeah. and you kind of don't get too high or too low, I feel like everything just works itself out eventually. And I guess it's not how you start, it's how you finish. And yeah. that's kind of where my mind's at right now. I said this when you got to Edmonton, but I watch you play and uh, it's like you have like an attitude. You're like a fighter. And you're a goalie. Like usually they say this for players, you know, like, oh <laughs> man, that guy really draws people into the fight. That <laughs> I feel like you brought that to the Oilers though. At the time when you came in, they needed some fight. Do you feel that importance with this team? Yeah, I mean, I think when I first came, I think you're right. I think there was maybe lacking that a little bit. Obviously, there was important pieces, yeah. you know, that everyone knows who I'm talking about. But I do have a competitive fire about me, and I think that's what's probably kept me in the league as long as I have, too. Um, and, and I really believe that's contagious. What's different now? What's, what's a different sauce for the Oilers? Yeah, I think, well, Woody's came in and he's a fiery coach. He just harps on details. Yeah. If there's a goal scored, you know exactly who yeah. whose fault it was. You know, probably the, the, goal, probably the goalie. But, the but, <laughs> always, <laughs> always the goalie. <laughs> yeah, always the D. Yeah, <laughs> but, uh, uh, but no, he's, he's, uh, he's very detailed and the little things that get talked about all the time, why teams are successful. Mm -hmm. He harps on them every day. And it's not harped on to the point where you get 
annoyed of it. Yeah. It's he's right. You know, you look around all the teams you played with, right? Start Dallas, and you know, I look at some of that. I got roped on some of the names. Or was it like Eric Lindros? You know, you have St. Louis, Stamkos, Ryan Malone. <laughs> uh, you know, you can go through the list of like certain players or guys that you've had or spent time with. Is there anyone that stands out to you as like? Man, that guy was cool, or wow, playing with that guy was great. As you get older and you kind of look back on your career, like yeah. Mike Madano, like, oh, you yeah. know, going to the rink and like, and you were a kid and you are watching this guy like fly around and his jerseys flapping yeah. behind him and you get to know these guys and then, like you said, Vinny and Marty yeah. in Tampa and then seeing, you know, the kids come in when you felt like you were a kid, like Stammer, you know, yeah. and then you play with Connor, but it's uh, just those relationships and those players that you play with, yeah. it's just, uh, Looking back on it, you awesome. kind of, it's, it's, un, it's unbelievable. Right? Yeah, some of the guys you play with. And Smith are going to go as center ice. Talbot and Smith moving on both sides of this battle of Alberta. This is unbelievable. Wow. Yeah, now it's going to be a battle of Alberta. This is unbelievable. Battle of Alberta. You're on both sides. Tilly under the belt. What does that mean to the province? And what, how cool is it? How cool is it to be on like, you know, now play both sides? It was strange at first, you know, when I switched to Edmonton. Okay. Uh, but I, I was kind of choked when I left Calgary. And so it was an easy transition to hate them right off the bat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, you know, cause I really liked, You're I really, supposed to hate them. I really liked Calgary. Like yeah. as a city, I really liked playing for the Flames. I loved the players on the team. And so I hated the Oilers. Yeah. And then now you're like, hey, they didn't want me back. That kind of left a bit of taste in my mouth. When someone doesn't want you, and especially my personality, that really, that, that really fired me up yeah. to, to go over here now, oil country, and to uh, <laughs> to really want to you know stick it to them. Oilers but, fans love hearing this. <laughs> man. That's good. But uh, but I mean, obviously that aside, it's uh, it's 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 a great rivalry. Kocher dishing off, burns a shot, speared by Smith, smacked down low, it's a breakaway to win it in overtime, McDavid scores! Connor McDavid from Mike Smith, the winner! Dissect the play of the pass. <laughs> um, to be honest... You've been criticizing, <laughs> you've made some mistakes before, man. But... Buddy, I've made plenty of mistakes. <laughs> Let's go get... Hey. It hasn't been easy. Hey, you don't become a puck and goalie by doing everything right. Yeah. I tell you that right now. <laughs> my first time, I actually, in the NHL, my first year, I'll tell you the story first. It was one of my first games, actually, in, in Dallas. And uh, I think I went out behind the net and made just a blunder of a play. <laughs> and the next rim comes in, and I don't go out and play it. I'm, like, terrified now. Yeah. And then... So TV timeout, come to the bench, get some water. Turkle looks at me, he's like, what he's the hell? He's a good puck player too. Like Unbelievable. Play, yeah. But anyways, he looks, stares at me, he's like, what the hell are you doing, man? I'm like, what? He's like, why aren't you playing the puck? I'm like, well, I, I don't want to screw up again. Like, I just, <laughs> just embarrassed myself in front of 20,000. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> and he's like, don't do that again. He's like, don't show your team or the other team that that affected you. And I always keep that in the back of my mind when stuff happens, even bad goals, like, it's gonna happen. You know, like, it's hard to play a perfect game. You know, like, it's doable, but it's, it's hard. And so I always keep that in the back of my mind that you, you don't want to show anyone, especially your own team, that, that bothered you. That's a good story. But when you have the fastest player in the world on the ice, after I made the save, I just, out of the corner of my eye, I just saw him, like, button hook. I mean, it was just an instant kind of play, but being able to put the puck in the spot for a rocket ship for McJesus to, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to go into a breakaway was pretty, uh, pretty yeah, cool. And then, you know, to see him celebrate like he did oh, the point and the, there, do the double fist pump, uh, I don't think I've ever celebrated as hard in a, <laughs> in a game before, but, uh, that was uh, definitely a special moment for sure. I'm rooting for you. Love the fire. Love your family. Uh, and I love the older guys. So, Smitty, get her done. All right. Have a run, buddy. You're Appreciate awesome. it, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> I laugh because I'm nervous. I, I checked my heart rate a second ago. So it was above 100, now it's 91. It's 98, or 88, sorry, a second ago. 
I simply don't believe it. Because my chest... Listen, I got the confidence going. Black jersey on and everything. I'm here for a funeral tonight. All Leaf fans should be. You shouldn't be on here like, oh, I'm afraid of a game seven. Oh, I've got my heart broken too many times. You know, how many more springs are we going to do that? Is this just who we are? The Leafs can win the cup this year. And next year, the Leafs will be up like three games to one or three games to two on a team. And they'll lose. And people will be freaking out. Here they go again. Like just complete Stanley Cup erasure. I've decided that I have one life. It's true, but I've embraced the fact that I have one life. And I'm not going to live it. Whining, moaning, and belly aching about this team. That, yeah, has burned me. Burned us. We've been through a lot as a fan base. So shouldn't we enjoy this team that is currently up three games to two? If you go into every situation expecting the worst to happen, I promise it will. I promise it will. We can't have that. We don't need that. There's no room for that, Leafs Nation. Steve, you sound different. Do I? Do I perhaps sound like I'm turning over a new leaf? Perhaps I am. Isn't that a good thing? Isn't that a good thing? And wasn't that a good period of hockey? Honestly, it's one mistake. One. From Alexander Kerfoot, an errant pass behind him. No look pass to... Two dudes who weren't looking. Andre Palat capitalizes. Snipes on Jack Campbell. The Tampa Bay Lightning are up one nothing, And they will also start the second period with 93 seconds of power play time. And what we don't like about this penalty bleeding into the second period, uh, yes, it's shortened. It'll start in the neutral zone. So all those things are good. But it means probably getting the Lightning's top unit I would guess the whole time or darn close to the whole time. But you got to kill it first. Watch a Leafs game with Steve Dangle. I'm Steve Dangle. Click like, click subscribe. Tell your friends. How about Tom Stewart? How about producer Stu there with the content there at intermission? Getting to the bottom of it. He makes me laugh. Those videos, they, uh, what's, what's the saying I always see on TikTok? It's something like you ever read something and you're like, yes, yes. That's exactly what I've been trying to describe for years and years. And I didn't have the words. And the term is, yes, that really scratches the itch in my brain. Producer Stu content really scratches the itch in my brain. Questions from the chat. Andrew, how are you feeling about Engvall? Um, he hasn't been invol as involved in this series as I thought he was going to be. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, if, man, game one feels like an eternity ago. Felt like he was really good. He's been so key defensively that we haven't really gotten to see his offensive prowess, but we're seeing him more and more as this game goes on. Accu, can you talk? Uh, can the Penguins win without Crosby? Well. They got to win two out of three, right? The Penguins have won without Crosby before. They've won without Malkin, as great as Malkin is, as great as Crosby is. Uh, the Pittsburgh Penguins are always missing like 15 players from their lineup. Uh, that, that's been one of the most amazing things to watch about them over the last decade, is they always, always seem to have several key players out. So yes, the Penguins can do it. They're going to need some goaltending, and they're going to need to find a way to contain 
the New York Rangers, but who's to say Crosby is out? Unless it was announced that he was out. I didn't actually see. I saw the hit from Truba. I uh, I don't know how that gets nothing. Emily, does Leo, Leo is my son, less than two years old, does Leo understand who the Leafs are? Uh, maybe. It's difficult to tell. He just, he said his name for the first time this week. Like, I'd point at me. Who am I? He goes, Daddy. I'd point at my wife. I go, who's that? He goes, Mommy. Point at the dog. I go, who's that? He goes, Iggy. And then we would point at him and we go, who's that? And he goes, Baby. He did that for several months. Like, he knows all sorts of words. He knows his colors. Boo. Red. Onis. And Puppo. What else does he know? Wello, wet, webo, web. How, I forget how he says yellow. That's a new one that he learned. But he wouldn't say his name. And now we have a pretty emphatic EO, which is beautiful. Oh my goodness, 18,000 people in the chat. Basket at Leafs Nation. Basket it! Watch a Leafs game with Steve Dangle, presented by Molson Canadian. I'm Steve Dangle. Click like, click subscribe, tell all your friends. And I'm not just saying that because of muscle memory. I'm saying that because you should tell all your friends. As the second period starts now, send your friends the link to this stream. How do I watch the game? I don't know how to watch the game. Instead of having them light your phone up with all that whining instead of them complaining that their computer has a virus now because they went to some site that they very should not have send them watch the Leafs game with Steve Dangle lightning on the power play here the Leafs will break it out Mitch Marner trying to get around Victor Hedman it's not really gonna work so he gets it deep oh he just passed it to himself he just passed it to himself using Andre Vasilevsky did you see that now under a minute to go in this power play, but the Leafs turn it over. Not good. Victor Hedman coming in. Gives it to Samkos. Uh, turnovers of all types are bad. That one was particularly bad. Justin Hall, good pressure there. Kerfoot can't pick the puck off at the point. Errant pass in the corner. Very fortunate, but the Lightning will keep it in. Oh, almost a chance in front for the Lightning. Kalorn looking for space to get it in front. Can't quite do it. Under 30 seconds to go here in this penalty kill. Look for the cross crease pass there. It wasn't there. Ah, Kucherov to Stamkos. Can't handle the pass. Stamkos falls down, and you got to get this out. And get it out. And the Leafs are actually going to try for an opportunity here. Kerfoot to McCann. Oh, it doesn't work. Kerfoot with good pressure. He's going to go for the line change. TJ Brody gets it out, and the Leafs kill it off. Mitch Marner back of the ice with Austin Matthews. Morgan Riley was uh, the Leafs penalized player coming out of the box. I don't know if he's... No, he's not out there right now, unless he's the other forward. I imagine he's gone off for a change now, and nope, it's going to be Willie. Leafs going with the future line, and it's a three-on-two for the Leafs. Marner on. Oh, Willie turns it over. The Lightning will break out. Uh, Campbell didn't like the way that that bounced, so he gloves it and when in doubt, not the worst thing in the world. Lightning, good face-off team, so we're to leave. Ooh. Mikheyev, not, yeah, Riley didn't like that. Mikheyev not able to get a piece of that little floater, that little sauce pass there from Kerf. It's a shame that he was the one who had to make the mistake on that first goal, because he's had a good series. Tavares with the D-zone draw, flanked by Engvall. That shot Ooh, block, block by Labushkin. He's slow moving. Here comes another shot from the Lightning. Brings it around. They got to get it out. They got a player who's reeling. 
Riley will get it out, turns it over. But the Leafs battle, hard battle. And they get it deep. Tavares looks to keep that in, he can't. Good stick check from Engvall on Perry. Lightning still have it, but they're retreated back into their own zone. That causes a turnover. And it's now Justin Hall's opportunity to get it up the ice. Leafs get it deep. I don't think that'll be ice. Nope. Matthews. He's, he's pressured Sergeyev a few times in this series. Oh, Justin Hall beating Stamkos to the puck there. Palat ringing it around. The Leafs got to be careful here. Because the puck, I think, goes into the Tampa bench. And we'll get a face-off. Man, not a ton of whistles in this game so far, eh? We're already three minutes in to the second period. Uh, the first period took like 40 minutes of real time, maybe, which is not a lot. Shout out to all the Leaf fans who actually flew to Florida for this game. Y'all are ridiculous. Like, truly. Good pressure from Tampa. Made it difficult for Gio there, but the Leafs get it out. Woo! Fancy from Kerfoot. Could argue maybe too fancy so far tonight. Great shot through traffic. Vasilevsky had no idea where that was. And Camp, strong on the puck, keeps it. He's got to watch. He doesn't have support at the blue line. He goes deep. He's taking that thing for a walk. Nick Paul on him. Skates away from him. Unable to make the pass to Mikheyev, though. Turns it over. And oh, oh, boy. I was waiting to see a blue sweater at any minute there. Jack Campbell with a good play to get the puck out. The Leafs need to be cautious here. Tied up here in the neutral zone. Nick Paul gets it into the Leafs zone, turns it over. Such a tight game. Tightest game of the series for both teams, for sure. Shoot! Blocked. Ooh! I think that's Brandon Hagel reeling from an Andre Kasha shot block. Oh, he's really not looking comfortable at all. As the Leafs' fourth line gets deep, Spezza working along the wall. That's the second time the Lightning have airmailed it. It was for icing, but I kept waiting to see a blue sweater there. Brandon Hagel not able to get off the ice as a result of that icing. Not good news for him. That was a double deflection, and Vasilevsky was not able to track it. I think we're going to get another look at that block. Oh, ah, where did that hit Hagel? Were you going to get the other angle? That didn't look comfortable. I assume it's just a stinger, but yuck. Leafs top line out there with a tired group. Tired fourth line for the Tampa Bay Lightning. Close to two minutes. So the Leafs will try and pin Matthews. Uh, Bluff. Right on. Rebound. rebound. Oh, that was almost a Matthews goal. He was sniffing. He wanted it. And the Lightning's tired group is still out there. The Leafs got to keep it in. And they can't. Hagel. What determination. He gets smushed by Riley. But what a what a key drive to back the Leafs out and get a line change for the Lightning. The Leafs can't get it deep. Another icing call, but the Lightning have a lot of fresh legs over the boards. I don't know if they got everybody, but they got a lot of fresh legs over the boards. Boom! Oh my goodness, that was Hagel again with the block! in the top third of the net there, but that big body of Vasilevsky able to get across and make the save. Hagel finally able to get a change. Cousins Cup, man. After Playoffs. 38, that's the number of shots he blocked in the last two shifts. That's a tough way to make a living there for Brandon Hagel. That's why the Lightning paid so much for him at the deadline. Man, he's gotten a few points for the Lightning in the series, but boy, he's been the little thing king for them. Drawing calls, blocking shots, creating turnovers. And he's so young and he's only going to get better. Justin Hall with a chance to get it out, and he does. Kerfoot, you can tell there's a determination in his game. He wants to make up for that mistake. 
explosion off the glass. It comes out to center where what I meant to say earlier, I realized I forgot is I know like Kerfoot's going to wear the goat horns there and he's got to be more responsible than that. But I'm positive one of Brody or Muzzin did something he wasn't expecting. And that screwed it up. Oh, rebound in front of the net. He's got to clear it. And they at very least get it out of harm's way. Tavares clears it off the glass. And it looks like it'll be an icing, and uh, that'll have to do. That'll have to do. The Leafs have some pretty good players out there on the ice. Some pretty good face-off takers, so. Ooh, Campbell had that pad down, but not by much. Matthews and I think that was Brody helping to prevent the lightning rebound there. There have been a few very close calls with rebounds in front that the Leafs have prevented. Tavares and Matthews out there. Brody yeah, gets it out with possession somehow. Off the boards. Chernak flubs it a little bit, so the Lightning go all the way back. And the Lightning turn it over. The Leafs doing a decent job using their defensive blue line to turn it over. Or get the Lightning to create turnovers. There it is. Words. Words are hard. Here comes Marner. Good little dash. Bunting puts it on. Sends it wide. Good little battle for Marner. Matthews tries to put it in the top corner tight, but it goes up and over and out. This is a tight, 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 tight game. Not over by a long shot. Nearly seven minutes gone here in the second period. Hydrate. Watch a Leafs game with Steve Dangle, presented by Molson Canadian. I'm Steve Dangle. Click like, click subscribe. Tell all your friends. Tell them. Tell them all. That this is the place to watch the game. No, nah, bro. I found this link on uh, there's totally not a virus on this dot net. And, and it's cool. It's totally cool. And then your phone explodes. No. This is just YouTube, baby. Sportsnet's YouTube channel. Click like. Click subscribe. Tell all your friends. Click share. Share. Text it to your friend. It's that easy. You don't even got to be a computer genius to figure it out. You don't got to be a phone or a tablet genius to figure it out. I know people watching this from the gym. People watching this in the bar. People watching this from space, almost literally. Chris Hadfield, he knew about the heart rate. He knew about the heart rate. I don't know if he was watching, but he had barely saw the heart rate. So he, he, he would have seen the highlight pack. Speaking of the heart rate, it hasn't spent a ton of time under triple digits in this game. So for the last time before gameplay resumes, Watch a Leafs game with Steve Dangle presented by Molson Canadian. I'm Steve Dangle. Click like, click subscribe. Tell all your friends. Do we have a question? Has Steve learned to tie his skates yet? This is from Canadian tradition. Yeah. I know how to tie my skates for crying out loud. I just don't know how to use them once they're tied. And speaking of tied, I wouldn't mind seeing this game tied right now. Leafs with an offensive zone draw against Tampa Bay Lightning and everyone falls down and the puck goes out of play. Hockey, the beautiful game. What happened there? Seriously, what happened? <laughs> Tamer asked the question, how is JT been? I, I've liked him so far tonight. I think he's been good. He's been noticeable. And dogged. Keith has been going back to this line when the Leafs get the offensive zone draw. Tavares with Kerfoot, which is normal. But Nylander getting the extra shift instead of McKayev. Nylander's look great tonight. Tavares looks his best when Nylander looks his best and vice versa. Kutrov, with what a move! Oh, oh boy. And this creates a little bit of chaos, and the Lightning will try to take advantage. They manage to hold the zone. McDonough with the puck. McDonough puts it on. Oh, it's wide, but the Lightning still have possession. Giordano's got to go into the corner. The Leafs got to mine the front of the net. Justin Hall remembers to do that. Nylander at the point. 
Oh, oh Leafs try to clear it, and they way. do, and, and they get it right. out. Willie with the nice one-handed tap there. The Leafs with a bit of a survive Perhaps shift there. They'll need to thrive. Tavares, good job keeping the Lightning back in their own zone so the Leafs can get a line change. With Kerfoot going over the boards, I imagine that's everyone. And Austin Matthews, who has not spent a ton of time on the bench tonight, back out there. And he creates a turnover. Bunting with Marner. Oh, Bunting tries to get it over to Marner, and it doesn't quite work. Braden Point will get the puck, and he'll get it out. Lighting get it deep. Kalorn in there. You got to decide. You got to decide. Brody hasn't always looked sure tonight. Oh, Marner. Great read. Ah! He gets it to Bunting, and they'll get it in, but not the break that it looked like it could be. Brody attacking. I hope someone's back, and they are. It's Muzzin. That's a good shoulder check. Wow, what a good move from Muzzin. As he gets it out, and now it's David Camp entering the zone. Fires it on. And he'll draw the offensive zone face-off. The Tavares line was just out there. The Matthews line was just out there. So I doubt Keefe gets them an extra shift, and I think it's maybe just Camp who stays out there for the Ozone draw. That was a great move from Kucherov. Hall, I mean, outmatched there. Almost everyone's outmatched by Kucherov, but he does a great job sticking with him. And I was right, it will be Camp out there for the offensive zone draw with Ilya Mikheyev, and I imagine Pierre Engvall on the other side of him. Nick Paul arguing about something. He's on the lightning, so I assure you he's wrong. Leafs get it deep. Camp gets it around. Leafs bunching up a little bit there, and the puck is behind the net. No one's there. Engvall tries to be the first to it. Can't quite work it. The Leafs hemming the lightning in a little bit here. They just need to make it dangerous, and it looks like the Leafs just threw a call. Mikhail Sergeyev is going to be going off for the hook on David Camp, or is it foot? One of the, one of the lightning defensemen. Much like I, said I thought it was Sergeyev because he was standing right there. In your own end. Well, what happens when you do get was hemmed in there? Is locked in on camp. This is what can happen. You, you lose a couple of Foot the heading off. Nobody, and, a great job of bunting, just keeping his legs moving and, and I believe it was the hook. Ah, that's why. It was the hook on... Uh, it was the hook on Mikheyev, who really... You can make the argument he got hooked by uh, both uh, Foot and Colton. But it'll be Foot heading off. And a decently rested top unit for the Leafs gets out there and goes to work. Four for 24 on the series. The Leafs with an opportunity to tie it right here, right now. William Nylander gets a deep. Marner with the spin and shoot. Interesting. Tavares keeps it alive for the Leafs. Riley holds it at the line. Matthews hasn't even touched the puck yet. He will. He does. Whoa. Oh, Willie with the little uh, stutter shot there, but the Lightning clear it. Campbell, very active. Doesn't want the Lightning to change. Yeah, it was a good thought. Doesn't quite work. The Lightning still trying to get personnel over the boards. The Leafs get it deep. But they get it deep a little sloppily, and the Lightning will clear it again. With 50 seconds gone. 70 seconds to go here in this Leafs power play. You got to wonder how long the top unit is going to stay out as we hit the halfway mark of the second period and the halfway mark of regulation. Ooh, Marner dancing on him. Gets it in deep. Loses the puck, though. Ah, the Leafs not able to get it to the point and they'll have to retreat. And I imagine the second unit's going to come out after this. Belmar puts it on. And he attacks the net. Campbell has to hold on. Second unit's probably going to come out there, I imagine. Spezza with the faceoff. The Leafs still have, a, I think it was about 40 seconds. 39. So it's bunting McCaff. Spezza caution Giordano. Spezza can't get kicked out here because Kasha and Mikheyev aren't centers. The Lightning will get it out and they'll send it deep. That's a key 10 seconds killed right there, but the Leafs have an opportunity 
eight group in game so one more real good possession in rush oh picked off by Sorelli Giordano in a foot race oh what a goal what a goal by Anthony Sorelli he gets the teammate the shorthander battling Mark Giordano off the puck spins fires scores and a little over halfway through the second period, what a goal, what an effort. I told you for the series, this young man, despite being a two-time Stanley Cup champion, does not get talked about enough. Beats Mark Giordano, beats Jack Campbell, and the Tampa Bay Lightning one step closer to beating the Toronto Maple Leafs tonight as they hold a 2-0 lead. But I'll remind you, the Lightning hold a 2-0 lead for the second straight game. They didn't win the last time. Last time wasn't on the road, though. 17 more seconds here on the power play. I wonder who's going to be out there. What happened here? We got a whistle? Was that a flub faceoff? Are they going to put time back on the clock? Yeah, they got to put 16 or er, 16. They can if they want. They got to put six seconds back on the clock. Back on the power play. The clock didn't start. That's what happened. Thank you to producer Steph. Leafs lead the series 3 2. Tampa leads game six 2 to nothing. As we try to get the clock in order, and they do. 16 seconds left in the Leafs power play. They got to at least get possession here. And a quick one would be nice. Leafs looking like they're just getting their third line out there straight up. I mean, geez, this clock review is taking so long, you might as well get the top line out there. Like, how, how long in actual time has it been since the top line was out there? Just get them out. Get them out. They've got their breath. Get them out. I guess it's too late. See, that's funny. They put 16 seconds on the clock for the power play, and I was like... I seem to remember it was 17, and I guess the Leafs said the same thing. So they get that extra second back. Camp wins the faceoff. Some rare power play time for him. Chances given to Tampa by some mistakes, and they've made him pay. Oh! David Camp! What's it on? Rebound! Engvall can't bury it. Oh! Oh! Brody stops that puck from getting deep, and uh, the Leafs. Almost got bit by the uh, by foot coming out of the box there. By the way, we have under 3,000 likes on the stream. That's a disgrace. We need more likes. Get us over 3,000. That's why the Leafs are losing. Because of the lack of likes. Camp was it on. Ah, you got a berry. David Camp dangerous on the shift. And Pierre Engvall and Justin Hall straight up running into each other head first. And we'll get an icing call here. Great shift there from that little line of Camp Kerfoot and Engvall. Engvall with two chances to get the Leafs on the board here. Uh, oh. 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 Likes equals good luck, everybody. Click like. Top unit out there for the Leafs. Flat unassisted in the first... Sorelli, Matthews wins it. Nylander out there with him instead Archer of Bunting. Oh, he score! Austin Matthews with the tip. We got a great view of it from behind the net. And Poppy pop it off. Maple Leaf Square pop it off. And that guy just subtle high five. As the Leafs get on the board. I believe that's Morgan Riley at the point. Puts it on and Austin Matthews. 
with a beautiful tip. And then he loses oh, Giordano at the point. Sorry. To box him out to the outside. You could see the not liking that he was the shot coming through. It was just Giordano who got beat to the outside beat by Sorelli. Brutally Giordano by Anthony Sorelli on that shorthanded goal. Matthews goal brings the Leafs to back within one. one in the back of the net and all of a sudden we got a one Matthews goal game. 2-1 with 820 to go in the play. second. There he is, the Mr. Matthews, Matthews, right there. So the Stone-faced. Because he's seen his son do this plenty of times. Icing is the call. And uh, guess who's getting right back out there? The guy who's good. The guy who's really good. Oh, boy. So that's Point and McDonough. When you lose, it's just uh, stay and make good sure job by Marner in drawing in two guys. Uh, they just Matthews sort of forget Austin Matthews exists. Dude, like people are always like, how how is Ovechkin always open? Well, how are any of the best goal scorers always open? It's a skill. And Keith goes right back to this juiced line of Nylander, Marner, and Matthews. Yes, it was in the offensive zone, uh, but why not? Willie's look great tonight, but that's a turnover there. From Giordano as the Lightning come in. The Leafs stymie them, but the Lightning still have the puck. Marner doing his best. Ah, he at very least, at very least, gets him to turn it over, and now it's an offensive chance for the Leafs. Ah, would have been a partial three on two. Matthews knocked down in front, but we're uh, we're deep into series rules here. Outside of the Morgan Riley uh, Morgan Riley tripping call, uh, I'm thinking the penalties in this game are going to be pretty few and far between and they wasted a gift with that penalty to foot but thanks to a Matthews tip they're back within one just over seven minutes to go here in the second period lightning two Leafs one whoa what happened there puck squirted into the slot somehow and guys, I don't lie to you. Likes equal leaps goals. Figure it out. Do it again. Oh! oh! Brody made a decision that almost cost him. Kerfoot getting back. Oh, Campbell, glove that, buddy. Glove that, buddy. Glove that, buddy. A little bit of Perry shenanigans. Yeah, he's not going to let you down. Just sit there. Catch your breath. A Sorelli short-handed goal followed by a Matthews tip makes what was once a 1-0 game a 2-1 game for the Tampa Bay Lightning. Leafs within one. Watch a Leafs game with Steve Dangle presented by Molson Canadian. I'm Steve Dangle. Click like, click subscribe, tell all your friends. Uh, BB. How have the Leafs been moving compared to the first? Does it feel slower to you too? Um, a little, a little. I feel like they were faster or looked faster in the first because they had to be. Uh, they were sort of responding to Tampa. Honestly, I feel like a slower game benefits the Leafs. I do. They're not this run-and-gun team. If they get into... Generally speaking, when they get into run-and-gun battles with teams, it doesn't go great. They need controlled chaos. They need to be methodical. That's I've said that about them for a few months now. Listen, they can play stupid, dumb hockey. We've seen it, and it's fun. And it hurts your heart, literally. You know, biggest house in Oshawa belongs to my therapist. I, Say that all the time. <laughs> but, you know, Babcock wasn't right about a lot. But I remember the Leafs blew a 5-1 lead in their home opener against the Rangers a few years ago. I think it was 17-18. They came back to get, came back. The Leafs ended up winning 8-5. And he said, it's funny, <laughs> but it's dumb. The Leafs can do it, and it's fun, but it's dumb. They realize that. So they're better when they're slower and methodical. And can we just check out the threads on Chris Cuthbert and Craig Simpson? 
Greg Simpson, by the way, I'm always amazed how many people don't know this. Owner of the all-time record for highest shooting percentage over the course of an NHL career. I'm sure there's someone who played like one game. He had like one shot. And so he's got a 100 shooting percentage. So among guys who have played X amount of games, let's say at least 100 games, he holds the NHL record as the Leafs break out of their zone. He was also with Wayne Gretzky when he got traded. He has lived a life. David Camp helps to create a turnover there. So does Elian McKay. If the Leafs keep it in, this line has been stiffened. Stiffened. Angle puts it Oh, there was a rebound in front, and Camp draws the face off. And Camp liking the rough stuff after the whistle. It's funny, we haven't seen a ton. We haven't seen a ton of uh, the beacon back and forth and the pushing and the punching and the cross-checking because no one wants to take a stupid one. Yes, it's the playoffs. No one wants to take a stupid one. Camp does get a deflection there. I don't know what I don't know what the conversation is with him and the ref. Forcing the eyes of Vasilevsky to be looking to... He's got an ozone draw here. Labushkin Riley out there with Matthews, Bunting, and Marner. Sorelli. High face-off probability here over Austin Matthews. I didn't expect that. Matthews wins that one, though, cleanly. Puts it on! Sales. Mission appears to be get it through traffic. Matthews turns it over, though. Braden Point trying to get past Labushkin. He certainly gets it deep. Labushkin doing his best to keep up, and he smushes him. Matthews getting pushed. Labushkin's going to get his hands hacked at. But he's got those eye block shots for a living uh, oven mitts. Marner gets it out using his body. Bunting tries to create the turnover. No going. Lightning, get back over. Leafs get back over. Lightning, get back in. Kaloran battling with Riley. Bunting gets it out. This is a tight, 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 tight game. Ooh, big hit from Sorelli on Labushkin. Labushkin was acquired by the Leafs to uh, dole out a beating, but man, he can take one too. Not the greatest pass to Riley at the blue line. Now the Leafs are going to have to defend with forwards here. What? That was the longest hang time on a puck I think I've ever seen. Leafs fourth line out there. Keith has not used them a ton in this game. And they, ooh! Oh, Blackwell almost gets a bit of a break there. Sergachev working in. Puts it on! Deflects just wide of the Leafs net. Kasha, you got to get that out, and he does. Chips it out. Remember, we got the long change here. Kasha gets off and avoids the too many men call. Tavares jumps over the boards. Babushkin turning up the other way. Tavares tries to get off the boards and out. Doesn't work. Labushkin tries to get over to Riley, but he flubs it. Riley, good receipt of the pass, gets it out. Kerfa, two on one. Here we come. Shoots. Stop by Vasilevsky and a little poke at the end there, too. If you're Kerfoot, you got to trust that shot. A quick outlet, little bit I think he got one in game Kerfoot one, didn't he, with a no snipe on Vasilevsky? He had McCabe with him. He was looking on. past. He shot it, but Vasilevsky equal to it. What a tight game. God, I love this. Watch a Leafs game with Steve Dangle, presented by Molson Canadian. I'm Steve Dangle. Click like, click subscribe, tell all your friends. Juvia, did you tell Spezza about your vision? Is this why they came back last game? So if you're new here, just before the Stanley Cup playoffs began, I had a vision. The vision came to me one day. I was so nervous heading into these Stanley Cup playoffs. It's the Leafs. We know about their baggage. We know about their demons. We know about their recent history. That is quickly simply becoming their history, becoming their identity. But a vision came to me. 
saying that the Toronto Maple Leafs will win the Stanley Cup this year. Came to me in a vision. And right now the Leafs are up three games to two on the Tampa Bay Lightning. So to answer your question, I didn't have to tell Jason Spezza about the vision. He had the same one. I didn't have to tell him. He knew. He saw. Lightning two. Leafs one. The Leafs nipping at their heels, baby. It was a fun game so far. I opened my camera. How did I do that? Nope. Don't want that. Bro in the chat. What's up, bro? What is your pregame routine for these streams? Uh, well, everyone behind the scenes will know that uh, the routine lead, is panic attack. Every time. Into, I'm just, I just, feeling. you'd think I would shake the nerves it. after a while. I don't. I never shake the nerves in it. It's not necessarily the game. It's just, uh, I don't know, it's a bit of a nerve-wracking job. William Nylander with the quote-unquote winger win. He takes a lot of face-offs, though, for a guy who plays wing. Tavares behind the net. He's in his office. Needs someone to pass to. It comes in the form of TJ Brody. Nylander gets it deep to Tavares. Tavares working in front. No one home, though. Leafs got to do a better job of creating traffic in front. And the Lightning will get two men deep. Colton throws it around to basically himself. Ends up going to Nick Paul. Brody has... Uh, He's been looking the shakiest out of the Leafs so far. I'm sure that's because Keith is using him in the most stressful situations, that pairing of him and Muzzin. But, uh, boy, he's made me nervous. And a few times tonight! Oh, the Leafs very fortunate to avoid a too many men on the ice call, and if they tie it up here, Tampa's going to scream bloody murder, and they almost do. McKayev, Engvall, Camp, got to get it in front to make it dangerous. Camp gets it to the point, but the Lightning break it out. Kucherov, he's attacking Justin Hall, he's going to get around him. Oh, Justin Hall with the amazing stick check. Kucherov goes to throw it in front, but he can't pull it off. Justin Hall, up the boards. Dude, that's an amazing defensive play from Justin Hall. The most key in the game so far. The Leafs will get it. No, not quite out just yet. Calming things down, or at very least trying to. Lightning trying to have, ah, apply pressure. But here we go. Breakaway! I think that was Ilya Mikheyev. He barely gets a stick on it. This is the Lightning, almost a two-on-one, but not quite. David Camp trying to avoid taking a penalty. Under Pallant, stopped by Jack Campbell. I'm going to go on the limb here and say David Camp is a better player with a stick. Shot block for Matthews. Jack Campbell stops it. Now you know the game is going to take off at times, and here's the first time. That is a heart pounding shift. Justin Hall, who spent a lot of last season shadowing Connor McDavid in the Canadian division, uses his speed to just get enough on that. Ilya Mikheyev able to get nothing on that, unfortunately. David Camp does a good job to avoid the penalty call. And Jack Campbell, what did I tell you? Saving the Leafs bacon on that one. Leafs big line out there for the D-zone draw. Puck wide. Braden Point working it around. God, that guy's fast. Jake Muzzin. Leafs get out. Get to the red line. Uh, I don't know if the Leafs do, but Vasilevsky touched it, so it doesn't matter. Under two minutes to go here in the second period. Lightning two. Leafs one. Bunting knocks down his man. With the lead, uh, Lightning managed to get it out. Muzzin. What poise. Like he's watering the garden. Bunting in deep. Matthews in deep. With the Lightning work it around and get it out. Leafs again. The, the Leafs have been getting the Lightning to turn over a lot of pucks. Up at center, trying to spring bunting. Ah, that, oh, that was onside. Bunting gets onside there. Leafs get it deep. This will be a, a last minute fourth line shift here for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Blackwell out there with Kasha. Paul's been out there for a long time. Blackwell and Spezza in deep. Out at the end of the period. Blackwell, check uh, 
And it will come out to center right. Leafs will have to clear the zone. 40 seconds to go here. Leafs down 2-1 to Tampa. Spezza, awkward play. Puts it on! He scored! He scored! Jason Spezza! And did it, did it, did it! You love to see it! The Italians having a big game! Sorelli for Tampa! Spezza! To break! In Italian. And the Leafs break the Tampa Bay Lightning's lead in this game. I don't know if it was Spezza who actually got it. Spezza to Tavares. Puts it on. Bounces up. I don't I don't think Spezza touches that. As Vasilevsky flies through the air, and I, I would bet any money this is going to be reviewed for a high stick. I think it's it's I think it's the Tavares shot. That Vasilevsky hits Blackhawk, upward. And then Spezza, I think this is going to be Tavares' goal. goal I think this is going to be Tavares' goal. goal. I would bet any money they're going to review it. it they and don't? An okay. And under 30 Not seconds so to go here in the second, the Leafs tie it. Let's go. Let's get some Italian flags in the chat. I love it. I'm half Italian. Calm down. Sorry for my... Uh, we can get a Portuguese flag in the chat for John Tavares. Because I think it's going to end up being his goal. I don't know. I don't know. And I got to ask you, do you care? I don't. See that exhale from Spencer. He might have been thinking the same thing. Tied game. 19 seconds to go here in the second face off in the Leafs end. Very important face off for Toronto. Stamkos getting kicked out. Plot coming in. Is Tavares getting kicked out too? A third of which the Leafs have done. I saw Kerfoot on the move. I thought maybe Tavares was getting kicked out. Leafs win it behind the net. Nope. They're going to say. Sorry, people are not paying enough attention to me. Everyone is here to see me drop the puck. Leafs have won 53% of faceoffs tonight, Lightning 47. Leafs have an advantage, not much of one. 19 seconds to go here. Oh, come on! Is there a walk of fame in Tampa that I don't know about? Give the guy a star so we can continue the game for crying out loud. And now they're going to have to fix the clock, aren't they? What a joke. Drop the puck. Let Tavares win. They are giving the puck, uh, the goal to Spezza. There you go. For goodness sakes. Leafs win it back. Leafs get it out. And the Leafs might have an opportunity to take the lead. Oh, they do! You're kidding! You're actually joking! No way! John Tavares with less than 10 seconds to go in the second! Are you joking me? Are you actually kidding me? Shambles! Lightning in shambles! As the Leafs get too late! John Tavares with the shot! For the rebound for the Jason Spessa tip to tie it! Kerfoot! Where are the goat horns on the first goal of the game? Gets it deep to Nylander. Nylander in front of Tavares. Off his own foot and in. Can you believe it? The Toronto Maple Leafs with seconds left to go in the second. Take the lead in game six. Bedlam in Maple Leaf Square. Silence in Emily Arena. As the clock winds down for the second period. And in the third, the Leafs with an opportunity to rewrite history. We're all wearing black in the third. We're all wearing black. We're here for a funeral. We're here to end it. Enough is enough. This is it! This is the time! This is your time! We're all wearing black! All empires fall! And if you hear a low rumble, it's the foundation of the dynasty, of the empire, of the Tampa Bay Lightning crumbling beneath their feet! Lease three! Lightning two, heading into the third. Who doesn't love 
Hockey! Come on! Come on! Yes! Oh, this rules! <laughs> ah, I can't wait to watch that go back. I cannot. Oh, voice is toast. Cannot wait to watch that go back. Because you even hear the surprise in my voice. I'm like, oh, they might have enough to. And then they do. I'm probably not even on screen for most of that. What did I tell you? Click like. Since I told you that clicking like was the secret to success. You're right, I'll put it down. Since I told you clicking like was the secret, clicking like equals Leafs goals. They've scored three. Three straight, as a matter of fact. Watch a Leafs game with Steve Dangle. Presented by Molson Canadian, I'm Steve Dangle. Click like, click subscribe, tell all your friends. I don't need to tell you how important this third period is. But I do need to tell you about the limited edition Stanley Cup batch of Molson Canadian. It's a batch of Molson Canadian, which you know and love, except what makes this special is it was kissed by the Stanley Cup itself in the Molson Canadian Brewery. It's a batch of beer that actually went into the Stanley Cup and ah, back into the tank and hopefully into your home, into your hands. The limited edition Stanley Cup batch. Get it at the Lick Bow. That's LCBO for those of you who don't know the slang term. And you can use it to watch a game where the Leafs have, have a lead heading into the third. Because they do, by the way. We got some original content from Sportsnet coming here. We got a little Kipper and Bourne. And once they're done, I'll be back. And we'll be back with the third. Hey, I want to pick up... <laughs> I want to pick up it's on gone off the rails. I, I just it. want to pick up what you said before I took it off the happy yeah, day yeah. rails. Yeah. And that is where the Leafs are looking at this, even though that they're up three, two and they're reminded of the stakes. I want to go a little further to tell you where, where I really believe these stakes are, especially when it comes to maybe Kyle Dubas and Sheldon keep. They have to close this out. I, I would think if I'm Sheldon and maybe even Kyle, like my job's on the line on this one. I cannot survive if I don't close this series out. Well, Bruce Cassidy's in the same boat. He's an excellent coach. Uh, and we go back to Barry Trotz and everyone is understood four years. It's, it's a pretty good long run. And that's the kind of pressure. That's why they're paid well. And uh, I, like, they're on the verge. If they win this, it's going to be like Stanley Cup. It's mm -hmm. like, like, that's why when people talk about how, how hard it is to play in Toronto, I, d I take issue with it. It's difficult that you get recognized all the time. You don't have that anonymity. But if you get a little bit of success, people go nuts. They really, really do. They absolutely do. So it'll be like a mini Stanley Cup if they win. Otherwise, when See, you think I, of I, I hate that. What? You hate what? I hate that it's uh, a first round win would be a mini Stanley Cup. I know, but that, and Sammy, that's you've not said this pressure. too. I hate it too. I, I, I know, think but it's, it's true. I think it's gross. But, but that, that's no pressure. I'm like, saying it's the opposite of pressure. There's actually very little pressure on you to succeed. Well, raise the bar, people. <laughs> Understood. But they tol but tolerated 18 years without a playoff series win, sellout crowds, uh, record network uh, TV deals, all that. That's just it. That that logo. That logo reigns supreme uh, in hockey world. God, I, I, I hope the, the 20 players aren't listening to this show right now because you get past the two-time Stanley Cup champions, and if you take a look around, it has to feel like the hockey gods are sending us a message because this could be the two top teams right now in the East mm -hmm. going at it. 
when you look at what's going on between the Rangers and Pitt and where Sid is, and yes, Carolina seems to have uh, an edge on Boston, but they still got major questions in net, and so does Washington and Florida. My goodness, Bobrovsky, same same song and dance this time of year. Like for the Leafs, they get through this, they should think, man, this isn't about celebrating a first round win. This is about now thinking we can we can do this. Okay, well, talking to the players, and they are listening right now is, no, we're not saying they should accept it and rest on their laurels. I got to think the, the pressure being off, that they're going to seize them up. That's why I have picked them to win the Stanley Cup. It's the only time I've done that. My biggest worry is this ra- this playoff round. But now it's a double full thing. You've got, finally, finally won, and nobody talks about it anymore. Uh, winning that playoff series, you've slayed the Dragon, the, the two-time Stanley Cup champions. And all of a sudden, so there should be an air of confidence be able to relax a bit, but you don't relax in giving up. Hey, seize the moments. This may be your best opportunity I, ever. I don't think the players are thinking what the fans are thinking in terms of it being the Stanley Cup. These guys have higher aspirations. All you ever talk hear Matthew say is, job's not done, job's not done. Every time he was asked about 60, job's not done. Every time he got the chance to say that this year, that's what he said. I don't think the players are thinking, oh, we finally won the first round, let's mail it in. But for a fan base that has just been tortured by this first round curse thing that – they have to hear from other fans and other teams just crapping all over them. It's a huge thing for the pressure of the fan base and for the pressure of the team, and that all goes together. The first round gets lifted off your shoulders. You become a different team. You go into the second round with this sort of renewed, not freedom, but renewed feeling where you're like, okay, we got through this thing that everybody said we couldn't do. They did that, and then the sky's the limit after that, in my opinion. We've got Keith Jones, former NHLer uh, and current analyst on TNT. He's going to join us after the break. And then in the second hour, Mark Spector, uh, senior columnist with Sportsnet.ca, is going to help us tee up the Edmonton Oilers and the Los Angeles Kings and the pressure on McDavid to have another heroic night mm. with maybe some better goaltending. So we'll get into that as well. As far as... Um, some different looks going into game six tonight. Uh, let's talk a little bit about specialty teams. And, man, if the Leafs can get a, an early power play goal, how much would that go to closing this series out for them? And if if they do, Gord, who's starting on that power play at the point? Is it Mark Giordano or is it Morgan Riley? Boy, Giordano, what a, what a great pickup. And again, that's some of the, the tweaking I've talked about. You know, Sheldon Sheldon Keith kind of reading the bench, reading the situation, flipping Austin Matthews' role on the power play. Um, I'm like I, like I'm huge on Morgan Riley. I'm I'm huge on Morgan Riley. But you know, if the Giordano tweak is working better, and um, I'd I'd be fine to go with it. Whatever works best. You're because you're uh, it's so uh, Mor- Morgan Riley. Like I said, it's funny when Tyson Berry came. You thought he was going to supplant Morgan Riley. Morgan Riley's had his best year since he got got the score to 20 goals. So I still like I like how he's coming in kind of on the side sometimes, it's like he's being the extra guy. So I'm still fine with Morgan Riley, but I did like the tweak. I mean, who would you start? Yeah, I I, I like Morgan Riley as yeah. well. The the one thing that I've always said that is is missing in his game is a shot, a threatening shot, and. Uh, Apparently, Sheldon Keefe may feel the same way. Let's have mm-hmm. a listen to Sheldon Keefe on our Kipper's Clipper on his PP1. Yeah, just, you know, just in the game, just just wanting to try a different look, uh, different look there with, you know, with, the, with Gio's uh, shot and um, he's a little more willing and pro- more programmed to just direct the puck at the net. You know, Morgan all season has been more of a distributor for us at the top there, so it was really... You know, just with that in mind. Well, and if if you're known as a more of a distributor, well, guess what? So your opponents know that as well. Mm-hmm. And it makes it that much tougher on on Matthews and and Marner. So that's why I just said he brought, he brought up your point. He brought up the shot. And I 
Oh, sorry, go ahead. Sorry, I was just saying then there was Dion Phaneuf, Sam, who shot, oh, but he would fracture your ankle. Yeah. <laughs> the or, point. or bang it off the end glass or break yeah. your leg. Uh, he, bra- he broke an arm, didn't he? Oh, I think he broke Lupo's arm, didn't he? In the yeah. front of the net? I and he got so. JVR once. Yeah, he that was a weapon in the not the right kind of way from the point. But the thing he noticed with Gio, and I guess was it two power plays that they had him at the on the first unit? It's just a little bit more decisive in terms of it's going towards the net or it's going to 34. It's happening just a touch quicker, which I think they probably like. I think they probably start Morgan again tonight and then maybe make the adjustment again. But I was very interested to see them go to Giordano in that spot. And you're right, Gordo. What a trade. Mm-hmm. Honestly, like how, I mean, we've talked about their record since they made that trade. They didn't have to give up the first round pick to do it. I mean, they got Colin Blackwell in there who's been useful as well, scored, scored a goal in the series. That's probably one of the better trades done at the deadline by Kyle Dubas. No question. Uh, the added depth was much needed. Doesn't seem like they need any heroics of, out of anyone in particular, but are getting it jo- uh, done as a, as a group in, in general. Uh, do we have a Morgan Riley clip on uh, on what he thinks going into tonight? Yeah, he had some good stuff to say about the pressure of heading into tonight. So maybe nice. you can listen to that. Um, all people deal with it differently. I think for me, I think you just try to enjoy it. Um, you know, you don't get these opportunities every day. Um, and, and, and being in this position, we're very lucky. And, uh, I mean, the challenges, the challenges that we face, um, you know, with pressure involved, I think is, is, is a real privilege and I think it's a lot of fun. So I think you try to enjoy the moment, try to make the most of it. And, um, you know, obviously winning is going to help. Longest tenure on the team, Martin yeah. Riley. And if, if they are able to close it out, he'd be one of those first guys you think of. You might have noticed here on Watch a Leafs Game with Steve Dangle, presented by Molson Canadian, that I have on my funeral attire. We're wearing all black today. All black. Well, and, and some blue and a little bit of white. Because none of this history crap. I don't want to hear a thing about any demons. This is not a Tom Hanks movie, everybody. This is something special. Not that Tom Hanks movies aren't special. I'm, I, I've seen Toy Story. I'm aware of his work. But we're witnessing something special here when it comes to sports. But you haven't seen the bottom half of my attire. So it's time to play a little game called Is Steve Wearing Pants? There it is. Everyone's favorite game is Steve Wearing Pants. You have 10 seconds to guess in the chat whether or not I am wearing pants. If you get it right, you get nothing. If you get it wrong, you also get nothing. And you were wrong. 10 Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. This game is stupid. This guy always wears pants. That's where you're wrong, Bozo. I'm wearing shorts today. But the socks, you gotta, you gotta hike them up. You gotta hike them. Look at those calves, calves. Those rule. I had this much leg hair in grade three. You know how much I got made fun of? I would just walk into the room and they'd be like, look at that freak. Look at that idiot. And I, and that's why I wore shorts to run in, or sorry, uh, Adidas track pants to run in the middle of July. Well into university and adulthood because I was so insecure. And now I'm showing them to thousands of people because I am excited about this team. So if you guessed, no, Steve is not wearing pants. Congrats. Whether you were right, whether you were wrong, listen to me. You have to click like. Leafs were losing 2 nothing, And I looked at the amount of people watching the stream. I looked at the amount of likes and I said, oof, my own. This is not enough. And then Spezza, after a Matthews goal, Cranks the Italian up to Gabagoo. Ties it up. Tavares with less than 10 seconds to go. The captain, much maligned throughout this series, has his best game in game five. 
in game six might be even better. And the Leafs head into the third period with a chance to punch their ticket to the second round for the first time. Yeah, we're not even we're not even going to say it. For a second, I thought the game had come back and I was about to freak out. But here's another replay of the goal. Kerfoot, as he has done so many times this season, like that's just a great play along the boards. Will he trust him to do it? Will, uh, like I don't know how the Lightning lose Tavares there. All he does is stop. All he does is stop. He backs McDonough up. He gets his space. And the Leafs get two quick ones at the end of the second on top of the Matthews deflection of a Giordano shot. Again, oh. And the Leafs. Have a lead heading into the third period. Now, stay off of Twitter. Stay off. Unless you see a clip from this stream, then you retweet it. That helps us out. Click like, click retweet. All that stuff helps. People are going to be telling you about 2013. People are going to be telling you about underratedly 2018. Leafs also had a, had a lead. Heading into that third period, game seven. This isn't game seven. And even if it were, it wouldn't matter. Because this isn't 2013. Have you looked outside? It's not. It's not 2013 at all. I didn't have a dog in 2013. I do now. That'd be a difficult one to explain. Hmm? 2018? It's not 2018. I already had my allergies by now. It was an earlier allergy season in 2018. It was late this year. But I tell you what, if the Leafs... <clears throat> when the Leafs close this out, because they're the 2022 Toronto Maple Leafs, it'll be right on time. Right on time. <sighs> How you feeling? Can we get a vibe check in the chat? After you click like, you don't click like, you're not allowed to participate in the in the in the vibe check. By the way, we got the we got the T. Uh, and what is it? What does it say on here? We got an inspirational quote on the T. The plants have enough spirit to transform our limited vision. By Rosemary Goldstadt. I'm not making that up here. The last of games, oh, there it is. That's blurry. We'll take a photo of it after. Up a game Leafs. Comeback. Lightning in Tampa. Third period. Of the Let's go. Organization also named to the Canadian Sports Hall of Fame. We start the biggest third period of the season. And Forrest from Nylander and Kerfoot gets the Leafs up three, two, and we're starting at a buck twenty on my heart rate. Okay, okay, it didn't feel like it. But they've come back from two nothing down. Ah, uh, see, the Leafs are losing. Matthews probably cheats offense there. Uh, I don't think we're going to see too much of that in this period. Oh. -ho! Puck squirts loose there on Labushkin. Gets into a battle behind the net with Colton. And he's down somehow. They might call a two-minute minor if you amputate something. <laughs> so, anticipate that that late hit is coming. Anticipate that the slash is coming. And what you do is you don't whine and you deal with it. Leafs get it out. Minute 15 gone. You're going to be getting a lot of those updates. Engvall, lock in the neutral zone. That killed like 10 seconds right there. 15 seconds. Remember that. They'll need a big period from Kucherov here in the third period. Circuit chip bouncing it down into the leap zone. Mark Giordano, out of center. Oof, Her tough hit there. on Giordano, man. He's taking some Along brutal ones. Tavares. 
since joining the Leafs. Vasilevsky gets that up and over. That's actually uh, an example of a goaltender helping his team out. The Lightning, whoa! Kucherov's look dangerous tonight. Leafs get an early fourth line shift in there. His 76th point in this, his 96th Stanley Cup playoff game. Kasha doing a good job to keep it in. Every second that you kill is precious. There's another. 2.15 gone in this third period. 2.15 closer to your goal. And you might say, what? You fan. The goal is the Stanley Cup. Yeah, well, one round at a time. Leafs uh, losing their structure here a little bit. The Lightning working it around. Puck was bouncing around, and I think the Leafs lost control. But they regain. Matthews has the puck get away from him, but he manages to get it deep. Bunting stops it at the blue line. Turns it over to the Lightning, but it at very least prevents the icing. Chat, you go for it. I don't know how many of your questions we're going to be able to get to. Michael Bunting is going to have a chance for a shot. He gets it on Andre Vasilevsky. Stop. Over three minutes gone in this third period. Have we had a whistle yet? Jack Campbell leaves the net, and I would like him to not do that very often. David Camp gets it out. Three and a half gone in this third period. Lightning breakthrough. Sorelli passes. Shot. Blocked. And here's the Lightning with some sustained pressure. Chernak on. Rebound. Oh, collected by Muzzin. That was a wide open rebound. For I think that was Kalorn there sniffing. Engvall in the neutral zone. He'll get it back. Muzzin. Brody. You're going to see a lot of them this period. As Nylander gets it deep there. I believe that was Nylander. Tavares and Kerfoot working behind Tampa's net. This line's going to be crucial. They can try to get the Leafs another one, or they can try to keep the puck in the Tampa zone for as long as possible. Where'd it go? Even the camera got confused. It's the second time this game that's happened. Braden Point oh, throws it on for Kucherov. Oh, boy! Lightning working it around. Oh, Kucherov, open shot. Goes wide. Has the puck roll on him a bit. Oh, man, they keep that on side. The Lightning put it on. Goes wide. Got to get this out. Got to get this out. Tavares tries to go off the boards. It doesn't work. Block by Labushkin. Got to get this out. Nylander uses the air, and it works. Oh, Kerfoot thought about it, but I think late in the shift, the Leafs will get a much-needed change, and Tavares is going off, too. The Lightning needed the change as well. Sorry for the slurp. Five minutes gone in this third period. Shots 22-22. That feels low event. This game doesn't. <laughs> Keith going back to that fourth line again. Shows how much he trusts it. I mean, why wouldn't it? Based on the way they played in this game. Almost getting it in front for an opportunity. Man, having a guy like Kasha, who's been so good for the Leafs on the fourth line is such a luxury. Matthews gets it into the corner for Bunting because he didn't see an option. I don't hate that play. Bunting not able to get it deep, but the Leafs kill some precious seconds, so I don't hate it. Matthews brings it deep. Vasilevsky out to play it. Ooh! Leafs almost draw a turnover there. Matthews and Marner felt they were able to do it because they had two defensemen and Bunting back. Warner able to get it out. Ooh, sneaky. Tries to go around. Hedman doesn't work. Leafs have three back, and I would expect to see that continue for much of this period. Engvall trying to break in. You're seeing guys get away with stuff. The Leafs got away with a little something there in the neutral zone. The Lightning got away with something there. Oh, no! And that's not in. That is not in. That is not in. I don't know if we're going to get a penalty call here. Uh, the ref pointed twice. I'm not good at reading ref sign language. 
Tampa might be getting a power play here. I don't know how the Tampa bench is so stone faced right now. But that was right. Right in front of the Leafs goal line. Ended up stopping. I'm not even sure if it ended up Riley with a tap to the official. I don't know. Okay, here we go. It's Riley and Hagel. As Campbell, yeah, he does make the one save. Oh my god! That puck goes. Are the Lightning going to argue that who's that the other leaf carried it over the goal line? I mean, the net is well off. Shouldn't matter. First close call of the third. Leafs holding on to that. Then again, hockey has so many micro rules. Do you know all of them? We featured a goal in Dangits today um, between the Penguins and Rangers. Uh, that I don't know if it actually crossed the goal line. It certainly didn't cross the goal line with the net on its moorings. Watch a Leafs game with Steve Dangle, presented by Molson Canadian. I'm Steve Dangle. Click like, click subscribe. Tell all your friends about the limited edition Stanley Cup batch by Molson Canadian. They actually have a limited edition batch of Molson Canadian that was mwah, kissed by the Stanley Cup. It is a beautiful thing. Phil Pritchard went into the brewery itself, held the Stanley Cup itself with his white Super Mario gloves, and he said, da, 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 da. no, he he probably didn't say anything. Although, what would you say to the Stanley Cup if you had a moment alone with it? The limited edition Stanley Cup batch presented by Molson Canadian. You can get it at the LCBO and other places where you buy Molson Canadian. Harry, Harry moment there. Leafs almost getting scored on by the Lightning. The Lightning almost tying the game, but almost isn't going to get it done. And right now, the Leafs, a little over five minutes into this third period. I haven't seen the clock in a little while. Freaking out. The Leafs still hold a 3-2 lead. We're seven minutes in. That was the first whistle? According to producer Drew, you're joking. Well, that's okay. That's okay. If you're a Leaf fan, do you hate that? Nope. Nope, that is okay. And listen, listen, the Lightning are a great team. They know how to score. We know that. I don't need to tell you that. But when the Leafs got the lead, we'll see how well the second the Tampa time, Bay Lightning can the 4 3 lead on the right side. in game Cooper five, oh, did they lock point. it Steven down? Stamkos Amazing Stamkos neutral zone defense. They Stamkos did Stamkos not let lead. the Lightning pull Vasilevsky. So Engvall has to take this drop. Ah, uh, we're six and a half Huggies. minutes in, Drew. You're being dramatic. Point. You said seven. Time, Got my hopes up. Point will get waved out. It'll be Braden Point getting kicked out of the faceoff dot. Steven Stamkos goes right in. I mean, those are two perfectly and capable Engvall centers. And Engvall wins it. Not to sound surprised, but that's uh, that's fortunate for the Leafs. McKayev battling for it, and it goes into the Lightning bench. 13-24 to go oh, here in the third. Hat-trick look like? Say yes to the all-new Lightning looking like they're playing with some nervous energy there. The Not that guy, though. That guy's loving his life. Both of them. Victor Hedman looked like a kid in the in a candy store when the Lightning made it 2-0 in Game 5. And that look on his face, like, this is going to be easy, I hated it. It made me more mad than anything else in Game 5. And by the end of the game, the Leafs had wiped the smile off his face. And now they have an opportunity to make him shave for the first time since 2019. Oh boy, the Leafs unable to clear the zone there. Ah, uh, they're scrambling a little bit. Scrambling, scrambling. Gotta get around the net. Gotta get that out. Gotta get that out. Not able to get it out. Leafs, uh, lightning hold it. Braden Point working it along the point. Bunting. Intercepts it. Matthews, poise, gets it out to Mitch. Mitch, red line, and he carries. Bunting joins him. Bunting puts it on, and Bunting puts it wide. Matthews holds it there. Matthews to the blue line. Labushkin on, tipped wide. Seven and a half gone. Here in this third period, Leafs three, lightning two. Kucherov has looked dangerous all night. Puck is up. Rebound. Kucherov blasts it. I think it was stopped at the blue line, though. Lightning still have it. Foot puts it on. Campbell keeps it in his chest 
Uh, watch the penalty. Watch the penalty. Don't do anything stupid. Don't do anything defending, stupid. But when you get the chance to go, a little bit of a play in the neutral zone. Again, the nothing short of a lobotomy is getting called. Side, tries to get the quick it's an elimination game. Sorry. Did I say nothing short of a lobotomy? I mean, they'll call too many men or if you put the puck over the glass as well. Right there for but uh, slash, trip, hook. On the doorstep. Nice probably getting away with it. Man. Campbell, got right uh, up Campbell really Maroon squeezing that arm see. down. Thank goodness. As the Leafs win the face-off, they'll get it out, get it to the red line. And they'll carry it in. Not satisfied to simply dump it in. I mean, why give Tampa possession, right? Camp, nice little hit there, but Tampa gets through it. Foot joining the rush here for Tampa. Stop from Campbell. Juicy rebound, but Camp able to get it. In. Oh, no. We got a penalty for a high stick. I don't know who it's going to, but the camera immediately goes to Camp. And they'll check for damage here. He's their That's most key two. penalty killing center. And with a little over eight minutes gone in the third, David Camp heads to the penalty, penalty box. It's a lonely That's journey. Oh, he clips foot in the face. Totally he goes for the stick lift, misses, so gets him right in the face. Camp off for high sticking. The theme from last game. Here we are again, the most important penalty kill of the season. Bunting, you got to keep it cool there on the bench, buddy. You got to keep it cool. I know you're doing your thing, you're doing your job. You got to keep it cool. You got to keep that energy good on the bench. Braden Point with a great opportunity to win this faceoff on Alexander Kerfoot, but Kerfoot wins it. Behind the net, and the Leafs get it out. And here comes Kerfoot. He's got Victor Hedman on him. Kerfoot falls down, but he sticks with it. Oh, look at Kerfoot. Uh, that's a penalty in game one. Oh, no, it's a penalty now. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? By sticking. And for the second consecutive game six. For the second consecutive game six, the Toronto Maple Leafs will go down five on three. Keith is screaming bloody murder. Kerfoot was doing such a good job. Ah, uh, yeah. I thought it was the glove. He shanks Hedman right in the face. Into his face. Not He's trying to say he kicked his stick up. I don't think they care, neck, bud. I don't and think so they care, the and uh, it's usually really Mitch Marner out there for the five-on-three the with Camp. Well, it's actually usually David Camp, but he's in the box. And, yes, it's Mitch out there with Muzzin and Brody. A minute 45 of five-on-three. I said it would take a lobotomy, and I shouldn't have said anything. Kucherov, he wants it. Point. He wants it. Stamkos, he wants it. Blocked by Brody. 90 seconds to go in this 5 on 3 kill. Campbell with the stop. Most important stop of the season. A minute 27 to go on this 5 on 3 kill. We're talking about Ken Leafs rewrite history and all that. In, I don't want to focus too much on last year, what three happened three last year. Got to make a decision. But the He's parallels, across, got it on the right uh, a little too to freaky here, giving up a five on three in game six with a chance to close the series. Difference is the last time, at least we're losing. They have the 3-2 lead right now. Tampa looking to erase it. Kucherov puts it on. It goes wide. Rings around. It won't go out. Minute 18 to go here on this power play for Tampa. A minute 18 to go on this five on three, I should say. It's going to be longer than that. Kucherov, you, oh, he wants to shoot it so bad, and he's going to. Here it comes. Oh, Stamkos doesn't receive it cleanly. Marner gets it out. Checks the clock. Brody gets the Leafs even change personnel. just such a rocket across that Stamkos couldn't time. Under a minute to go here on this five-on-three. Marner at the blue line doesn't work. Giordano gets out there. Across for Kucherov. Marner trying to direct traffic. Back to Kucherov. Shoots. He scores. The Tampa Bay Lightning tie the game on their five on three and their power play will continue. Three, three, at very least, David Camp will be coming out of the box. And Jason Spezza 
Jason Spence is losing it. What, what happened here? What's going on? Spence and Perry talking it out with the refs. What's going on here? You know where the puck is going. What's, what's going on here? They're going to have a look at something. The majority of this five on three. Are they looking at goalie interference? What are we looking at here? Quick little pass. They don't know. And the quick wrister. Are they trying to say did Sorelli's stick get caught here, up with Campbell? I'm not sure what the argument is for the Maple Leafs. I don't Campbell see initiates contact, contact there, but that's not it. I thought maybe oh, Perry, maybe oh, Perry gets his stick in, stick in arm, Campbell's blocker. That's a challenge. If and the Leafs might have a point. Sheldon Keith deems to do so, but I don't see how this comes this, back. So but got another five on three. Perry does have his stick in Campbell's that's equipment. Where John Tavares and Jason Spezza came off. And here's here's why Spezza is campaigning so hard. Perry is he's in front of the net as he does so often just a little bit of a movement of the stick it looked like it got the the challenge the Jack Campbell, but if the Leafs lose it for Sheldon Keith Sorelli's in good I mean position. that could ruin everything and yeah he knocks the stick just gets inside on the stick does and yeah the stick to make sure that angle I mean is gone. That, that, that doesn't look like a goal that's going to come back man yeah. to make, and it won't lightning win the face off and the Leafs still have to kill a mighty long time. Just under a minute. Tied game 3-3 here in the third. Leafs get it out. Aren't sports great? Aren't sports grand? Isn't hockey the best sport on earth? Here comes Victor Hedman. Gets it out. And David Kim. At the very least, he backs the lightning up and with under 30 seconds to go here, he may get fresh legs out there. 20 seconds to go here in this Tampa power play. Okay, have good pressure there. Tampa crosses the line with 13 seconds to go in the power play. Oh, the lightning almost getting a greasy one. Leafs unable to clear the zone. Five seconds to go. Kerfoot's going to have to be a bat out of hell. Kucherov puts it on. Almost a rebound. Get in there. 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 Get out. Get it out. Kerfoot looking towards the bench. Kasha out there. Kasha looking for a change. And with under nine and a half to go, we got a tied game here. 3-3. Three, three. And Kucherov has his second of the series. Campbell leaves the net. Please stop doing that. Leafs. Leave a man alone in front. Please stop doing that. Sorelli, stopped by Campbell. And an aerial to Nylander. And he misses it. Offside. Back comes Sorelli. With Ross Colton. Oh, what a defensive play from Nylander to break it up. As the Leafs four wide. Riley goes deep. Along with Putzi. Bunting trying to break it up. Doesn't work. Riley gets back, though. Here come the Lightning. The Leafs got three back. I feel like I'm going to be sick, and it's the best. Yeah, I don't think the heart rate monitor is wrong. Those glands are swollen from allergies, too. Muzzin in a battle behind the net. The Lightning get it back to Bogosian, working it around. He's got McDonough. Oh, baby. Engvall with a good stick lift. Got to get it out. And they do. Kerfoot. Pass ahead of Engvall. Leafs with a line change. Allows Tampa to get possession. I meant to say ozone possession. Both teams going for a change here. Under eight minutes to go. I am going to vomit. Oh, God, this is so fun. Is that a high stick? Might be. Whoa. Brody down behind the net. McKay have tangled up with him. This could be dangerous. This could be dangerous. Fourth line shift here for the Leafs. Blackwell. We'll get it deep. Camp out there, though. With Blackwell and McKay Camp gets it around, no one home. Spitfire, Sergeyev up to center. Played back for 
Blackwell, and Blackwell it getting it deep. Smushed by two Lightning players. They'll come up with the puck. Matthews out there. Seven minutes to go here in this third period, and it is tied. 3-3. Three, three. Oh! Offside is called. Offside? Offside. Well, two veterans on the Maple Leafs, John Tavares and Spezza. Under seven goal. minutes to go his here. His helmet is undone. That's what they were adamant about. Lightning score a power game. play goal. Kucherov Nikita Kucherov looked dangerous all night. And I tell you what, it could have been a lot worse. A lot worse. As the Leafs don't kill the whole thing off, but they kill off enough that they're not losing, but not enough that they hold the lead. <laughs> Watch a Leafs game with Steve Dangle, presented by Molson Canadian. I'm Steve Dangle. Click like, click subscribe. Tell all your friends. I'm not going to tell you to calm down. I'm not going to tell you to not be nervous. I'm not going to tell you to do your breathing exercise. Actually, do your breathing exercises. It's good to breathe. Your body needs it. That thing you've been waiting for for so long from the Toronto Maple Leafs, that feeling, it's here. It's here. You might be saying, Steve, uh, no. I what what are you talking about? I don't want the stress. I don't want I don't want this agony in my chest. I don't, I don't want my heart to feel like it's trying to escape my own body. I want to feel elation from the special moments, from the game winners, from the series clinchers. And I'm here to tell you that those moments are born from moments like this. Hunker down. Feel every moment of it. Feel every second of it. This is special, what you're feeling right now. This is a privilege that you're feeling right now. There are over a dozen teams in the National Hockey League that don't have this feeling right now because they're out golfing. Their season ended weeks ago. And now the Nashville Predators are among them as well. By the end of the night, Oilers could be among them. And who knows, maybe even the Tampa Bay Lightning. What a game. 6-45 to go here in the third. Easily the tightest game of the series. Oh, Tavares gains the zone. Pass from his knees to Kerfoot. Brody holds the zone. I don't know how. Willie puts it on. Up and over. Puck lands to Kerfoot. Leafs. Oh, Brody won't put it on. Muzzin won't put it on. Curva will. Wide. Willie gets the puck. The Leafs have the lightning reeling right now, but they're dancing at the blue line. The Leafs somehow keep it in. Muzzin. Wide. Willie. Really getting it to Brody. Tavares. What an opportunity. Puck's loose. Knocked off the stick of Kerfoot. Kerfoot gets it back. What a shift from the Leafs' second line. Tavares Bang! Right Tavares, rebound! rebound. Shoot! Stop! Where is it? Vasilevsky gloves it. We'll get a rebound. A, a face-off. Something under six minutes to go. I thought the Tampa crowd was a little nervous. They were on edge as that line just dominated. We need more likes. We're only at 8,000. There hasn't been many we need more likes. That he's I asked for likes. In this kind of a moment, and the Leafs scored three sock, straight. Sock, you click like here on this stream. It's going to work. I'm telling you, it's going to work. I, you were probably clicking like before that little shift there. That's how they got so close. Keep it going. Next time they'll crack them. 5.49 to go. Leafs top line out there for the Ozone draw. Sorelli out there to match, and he wins. Victor Hedman looking to clear. He uses the air and it works. Matthews kicked at it. Uh-oh, lightning. Partial two on one. Shoots wide. Chernak with the puck at the point. Lightning put it on. Where'd it go? Must have gone out of play. And we'll get a, no it didn't. It went into Campbell's glove. Which is technically out of play. 
to go. 5.33. Oh, you can't go to commercial break right now. Oh, you can't go to commercial break right now. Watch a Leafs game with Steve Dangle presented by Molson Canadian. I'm Steve Dangle. Click like, click subscribe. Tell all your friends this is it. This is the moment. I don't regret wearing this. We're going all black. It's not about rewriting history. It's not about conquering demons. The Leafs are here in Tampa to be the demons. Tampa has reigned over the National Hockey League for two years now. Looking to make it three. And it's on the Toronto Maple Leafs. To take it away. And dethrone them. God, hockey's fun. Isn't hockey so fun? Be more fun if you clicked like. That's all I'm saying. Watch a Leafs game with Steve Dangle presented by Molson Canadian. I'm Steve Dangle. Click like, click subscribe. Tell all your friends. I say that in my sleep. Uh, presented by Molson Canadian. I woke up at three in the morning with that last night, which was annoying because I'm probably going to go to bed at three in the morning tonight. And it's the best. It's the best. Listen, stay out of the box. Don't take any obvious ones, because at least took some obvious ones. And you got a shot. Tampa wins the faceoff. And they got it at the point. Foot puts it on. Goes wide. Hall trying to get it up the half boards. Doesn't work. David Camp in there to help him. Engvall. Gets it wide. Leafs get it out. I don't think that'll be... It will be icing. It will be icing. Shift just started. Shouldn't be a big deal. But Tampa will try to get their big boys out there. Because with 5.16 to go, the Lightning have a face-off in the Leafs zone. You know, Kyle Dubas has actually looked pretty chill for most of the series, I must say. He knows the camera goes on. Camp, trying to get the puck off Nick Paul. Doesn't work. Lightning put it behind the net. Oh, Mikheyev's got to get in there. Battle with Nick Paul. Leafs have possession, but the Lightning hounding them. Yeah, Leafs go behind the net. Smart play. And we'll get it out. And they keep possession. Camp just trying to dump it so that the Leafs and get a line change under five minutes to go here for all of you shouting overtime did you see the second period uh don't bet on anything Leafs break the puck out William Nylander with John Tavares John Tavares lost his stick there that'll screw up Leafs plans at very least but Tavares uh, he kept it in for a moment Andre Palat breaking in. Leafs covering him. Palat waiting for reinforcements. And he's picked off by John Tavares. Having an absolutely fantastic game. Hounded by Stamkos. He gets it out. Leafs will change. Hedman. Working it around as the Lightning get fresh. Fresh players over the boards. Under four minutes to go in regulation now. Oh boy, Brody doing a great job to get back there. Leafs managed to get the Lightning to turn it over. Marner accidentally puts it into the bench and we'll get a face off. Oh, oh my God. I didn't see that behind the play. Hunting got hit high while delivering a hit to Chernak and it opened the penalty box door. Did play just continue? And they're like, it's chill, we'll close the door? Okay. Under four minutes to go. Lightning deep in the leave zone. Oh, Kampf 
Almost loses it. Doesn't. Oh no! Leafs lose it now though. Camp punks it! Won't get it out. Lightning put it on! Muzzin manages to get it out. I haven't seen the offensive zone possession. It feels like Tampa's probably beaten the Leafs in that category. Leafs have done their best to keep them to the... How did Brandon Hagel miss that? The lights went off and everything. Uh, three minutes to go. Great setup by Paul. And the third line did almost more than just generate momentum. Hagel almost froze out to that shot. He couldn't believe he missed it. Muzzin gets it out. And it won't be icing. How? The, how? In game five, it was how? a great chance by point. And Kucherov and Hagel still. Brandon Hagel had game seven miss. on his stick, potentially. And, and I don't know. Did he put it wide? Campbell gobbles it up in his chest. I got to see this replay. I need to see this replay more than I need to breathe. As we have two and a half minutes to go in this game. Well, in regulation. You're getting in ready to shoot. Just an excellent Tampa with a, I mean, that's a glorious chance. Hagel. How doesn't that even hit anything and go in? He can't get across and somehow it goes underneath without hitting him. And, you know, you look at the moment on a new team and trying to keep the streak alive. That's a miracle. That one, Hagel hopes, won't haunt him. 25 goals scored. Do you believe in the hockey gods? You do now. Matthews gets it deep. Didn't take that scoring touch with him from Chicago. How many bounces in recent memory has it felt like See if he gets did not favor the Leafs? In, in moments like these. That was the hockey god smiling down on them there. But here come the lightning. Braden Boyd! He's in the slot! Ah! Get rid of it! Get rid of it! Get rid of it! For God's sake, get rid of it! And it goes out. Under two minutes to go here in the third period. The Leafs got a partial change. Lightning breakthrough. Kalorin picked off. Ah, puck skips over Bunting stick. Tavares gets it deeper into the lightning zone. Campbell out to play it. Gives it to Riley, who gives it to Labushkin. Oh, my goodness. Kerfoot carries it. Trying to draw a call. Won't work. Turns it over, I assume, as the Leafs got a change. Under a minute 30 to go here in the third period. Leafs ring around, get it out. Ingball gets it out to camp. Is the deathly hallow symbol on his stick? Is he carrying Tampa's death stick? He's got two in the series. The They've both beaten Vasilevsky blocker side. Third would be dandy. 50 seconds to go here in the third. I'm not going to say it. Is that ice? It is. As the Leafs will get an offensive zone draw on Tampa. Just under 42 seconds to go in the third. First line didn't look like it even thought about leaving. everyone just trying to catch their breath. Brandon Hagel out there. Had a golden opportunity to put the lightning up and whiffed. Matthews, Nylander, Marner, Muzzin, Brody. Matthews scrambles the draw, the lightning get it. Sergachev puts it behind the net and it works. Sergachev out there with McDonough. Is this going to be another ice? Yes, it will. 31.6. Seconds to go. Do the Leafs keep the same personnel out there? The Lightning have to. They have no choice. What do the Leafs got? The look on Cooper's face, just giving Matthews and company another opportunity to try to snap it. Under 32 seconds to go. Looks like all the same party. Or is that Giordano at the point? Might not be all the same guys. Matthews wins this one. It is Giordano at the point. Marner. Matthews. On, blocked. Matthews it behind the net to Marner. Marner. Oh, Marner wanted Nylander in front, but he lost the puck. Matthews throws in front of Nylander! And they'll get another offensive zone draw. 17.7 seconds to go. Matthews throws it in front. He, he almost scored that himself. Get a greasy one off the leg. Get to that loose oh. 
get the face off. Will we get a personnel change? 17.7 seconds to go. So to the Lightning side obviously side. getting different bodies out there. They were exhausted. I see Willie. It's Austin. Marner. Leafs win it. Giordano's got to be careful. Got to be careful. Leafs put it on. And they forced Vasilevsky to make a save. And all those whistles that we didn't get in the first half of the third period are showing up now. That's, uh, what, the fourth whistle in the last 15 seconds of actual gameplay? Vasilevsky, good positioning, looking around. But more importantly, he beat Marner to that loose puck. And able to Wouldn't be the first time this game the Leafs scored with less than 10 seconds to go in a period. Final Leafs offensive zone draw, 13 seconds to go in the third. And Matthews the draw, scrambled. Marner, Marner gets it back. Doesn't work. Willie gets it back to Riley, Riley to keep it out of danger for the Leafs. Matthews, Matthews will get it deep. For and for the first the time series, this series, we are going to overtime can you believe it embrace it embrace it it's the best time of year it's the best time of year the leafs give up a five on three in the third period the lightning tie it both teams had spectacular opportunities to end it but we are going to overtime watch a Leafs game with Steve Dangle presented by Molson Canadian I'm Steve Dangle click like click subscribe tell all your friends what's the plan production crew <laughs> we usually have intermission entertainment but we haven't had an, uh, an overtime intermission yet in these playoffs I could take some questions. That's a good idea. So, by the way, what Spezza was yelling at the ref for, uh, producer Drew just sent me this. Leafs were arguing that Point's chin strap wasn't done up properly. You can see it flapping around right before the Tampa Bay goal uh, on this lower cam. So, I guess under the new rules, he's supposed to come off for that. Listen, as a Leaf fan, I want the Leafs to win. But is that how? <laughs> oh, God, that's a tough one. Uh, Producer Rob, some questions from the chat, if you please. Uh, we did not anticipate having an overtime intermission. But here we are. Isn't it the best? And you know what? You know what else is the best? The Molson Canadian Stanley Cup Batch. Presented by Molson Canadian. Limited time only. It is a batch of Molson Canadian that was actually kissed mwah, by the Stanley Cup in the Molson Canadian brewery itself. You can get it at the LCBO. It's just like drinking out of the cup. Molson Canadian Stanley Cup Batch. Limited time only. Is there... A limited time left in Tampa season. I'm dressed in black. I'm here for the occasion. Andre Vasilevsky, so unbeatable, so unbeatable in games after a loss. Leafs have scored three goals on that guy in six consecutive games. What does Arnold? say in the movie i believe it was predator if it bleeds we can kill it i think it was him was it a different character i don't know you see before he was governor he was an actor you see and he fought an alien it was very exciting years later they would make a game called starcraft and you'd be like the protoss look a lot like the alien from that movie Listen, I'm, I'm talking about anything. Losing my mind here. AJ. I don't think I appreciate this, AJ. AJ, are you surprised by this? 
Did the vision cause this? I don't like the stank, AJ. And I'll tell you why. You asked, are you surprised by this? And you seem to ask, are you even surprised by this? Am I surprised that the Tampa Bay Lightning are putting up a fight? No. It's the Tampa Bay Lightning guys. They're the back-to-back -back reigning, defending Stanley Cup champions. They're kind of good at this. I didn't expect this to be easy. I have not spoken to any Leaf fans who thought this would be easy. But you have to believe. I believe. I believe because of the vision I saw before these playoffs begin. But I also believe because of the Leafs I saw before these playoffs began. I believe because of the Leafs I've seen through the first six games, although this game's not done, six times three, 18 periods, Matt. Through the first 18 games, I am not surprised that the Leafs have an opportunity to close out the series in Tampa. Did that answer your question? Michael, why is this team different uh, than during the Montreal series? I mean, the structure, the poise, the attention to detail, the uh, ability to score greasy goals, create greasy turnovers. They're just better. Keith wanted playoff style goals. In the Amazon documentary, you saw him screaming about it. He's getting them. And maybe it's a playoff style goal that gets the Leafs into the second round. Colton says, who scores the overtime winner? Bunting. Oh. Camp would have been a good answer. I'm going to stick with Bunting. Russell, are you worried about the Leafs running out of steam? Nope. That one was easy. They don't look tired. And why should they be any more tired than the Lightning? I'm not worried. Not about that. Justin, who are the key players in overtime? All of them. All of them. <laughs> All of them. Dude. Uh, like, here's here's why I had to laugh at that question. Leafs double OT against the Washington Capitals, game two, 2017. Connor Carrick was on the ice for that goal. The goal, I believe, was... Kasperi Kapanen from Brian Boyle and Matt Martin. It was Connor Carrick, and I don't even remember who his D partner was on that. It's a fourth line and third pair. Got it done for the Leafs in double OT. So who are the key players? Anyone wearing a Leaf uniform? Who are the key Lightning players? Anyone wearing a Lightning uniform? Uh, James, how's your death metal voice practice going? Um, I actually... <laughs> so... On top of being reached out, or, well, tweeted about by Commander Chris Hadfield after Game 5 and screaming myself hoarse, as you can hear, I was actually reached out to by uh, Rody Walker, who is the lead singer for Protest the Hero. <laughs> and he's like, hey, man, uh, you really thrash your vocal cords there. And he sent me some... Uh, he sent me some, uh, like, vocal exercise videos on YouTube for me to try. I haven't tried them yet. I haven't had a chance. I had a busy day, but believe me today, while having lozenges, while having tea, I was going <laughs> See, I couldn't even hit that last one. <laughs> like, I can't do it. I actually follow a vocal coach on TikTok. Not because I sing, but just I like the videos. Producer Stu. Who would be your dream ex-Leaf co-host for these streams? Oh, man. 
That's a wonderful question. Dream X Leaf. Shane Corson's such a nice guy. We got to talk to him recently. Darcy Tucker is so intense, and I've actually got to go to a game with him. <laughs> Ridiculously intense. I do love Colby Armstrong. He's uh, He'd probably be the best storyteller. See, Morgan Riley's current. I would love to call a game with Morgan Riley, but he's, he's currently playing. He's kind of busy right now. A little bit tied up. Nazem Kadri's the next leaf. He's not doing anything right now. Can I say him? Uh, Matthew, favorite playoff overtime goal of all time. Uh, oh, man. My reaction to the Kapanen goal. Kapanen slaps at home. I mean, that was awesome. Some of the Leafs' best ones from my childhood. I was forced to go to bed because it was a school day. You know, I was there. I was actually there for a, Leaf, um, a Leafs playoff overtime winner, Game 3 against Washington 2017, Tyler Bozak uh, with the deflection. With that famous shot of Bozak, number 42, Nazem Kadri, number 43, and Morgan Riley, number 44, all celebrating together. Maddie, favorite zoo animal? There's a lot. And I go back and forth. I love the Darwin fish exhibit. Can't go wrong with the polar bear, Carlton the bear. I had a close bond with the camels because I worked at the camel ride. That is true. We had a camel named Zo uh, Scoodles. And also fun is the lion-tailed macaque. It's this tiny little primate primate. That is, it's like golden, pokes its stuff with sticks. It's a lot of fun. Jeff, what leaf, ooh, what leaf are you impressed with the most this season? I mean, the conversation kind of starts with Austin Matthews, and then you loop around and you go, okay, how is it not him? How is it someone else? Uh, but, I don't know how you answer anyone other than Austin Matthews. The dude scored 60 goals. He's been, like, the best defensive forward in this game. Guy does everything. And I got to say, Mitch Marner, the way his season ended last year, the way his season began this year, it really seemed like it could speed wobble into a bad place real quick. And he's been exemplary. What an amazing duo for the Toronto Maple Leafs in Matthews. And Marner. <laughs> From producer Drew, who edits LFRs. Uh, can you get me that LFR before midnight? Uh, how about this? So not only do I got to shoot the LFR once this game is done, whenever this game is done. Uh... Oh, no. Oh, no. I agreed to go on the fan morning show tomorrow. Oh. oh. It's at 9.30. I have to get up anyway, because I got to go to the podcast. So, oh, boy. I'm going to get up as late as possible. That's probably quarter after nine. I'll probably talk on the fan with a voice sounding like this. And then I'll drive in my car <laughs> to go record a uh, hour and a half long podcast, I'm sure. The playoffs, baby. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, producer Drew, I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, you're screwed. <laughs> Sorry, bud. You're screwed. H how much time we got left until uh, we go back? Well, back to the game, back to overtime. They stopped showing the clock. But the players are about to take the ice. So soon, soon time. Thank you for that, producer Steph. <laughs> Lucy, favorite TikTok you've seen recently? Uh, that's a 
That's a really great question. I mean, most of them probably contain swearing. Uh, oh, man. I really liked... Uh, this is a cop-out answer, but it's also true. I really like Sean McKenzie doing his streeter outside of Scotiabank Arena in Maple Leaf Square and just having Faisal Kamisa waving at him politely from behind him. I thought that was very funny. And I saw a great meme because this was for game five. And Sean McKenzie was labeled lightning with a 2 nothing lead. And Faisal just posing like that, it's Leafs comeback. Like that very much. Liz, who do you start in OT? Will it go the distance? Well, what's the distance? Second OT? Uh, I don't think this is going second OT. There, were, there have been too many scoring chances in this game. The shots aren't that high, but there have been too many scoring chances in this game. And who would I start? I don't think you overthink this. You go with the, the top line. Matthews, Marner, Bunting. Uh, and on defense, um, whoever's been playing with the most of the night, Riley Bush. Adam Wild, how are you doing? I'm great. <laughs> Everyone's just checking in on my general well-being. And I'm fine. I, here, we don't have the heart rate monitor up, but I'm at a buck oh nine right now. That belief, Kyle was about here we go. Is, oh, how close to right was know, I? The Tampa Bay it's the top line, but it's Muzz and Brody. Close. Leafs, are trying to build it in a Leafs lose the opening draw. Tampa gets deep. Campbell stops it. Overtime. Underway in Tampa. Watch the Leafs game with Steve Dangle, presented by Molson Canadian. I'm Steve Dangle. Click like because it will actually help the Leafs win this game click subscribe tell all your friends collision in center ice there Brody's got to watch out Mack truck Braden point with a big hit but the Leafs get it out lightning looking to get it back in they do they'll get it deep uh oh Brody you know what it fortunately hit the ref the first time unfortunately the second time Muzzin dangerous pass Matthews Thank goodness for the hand eye there. And the Leafs scrambling a little bit to start this overtime. Uh oh, not liking this, not liking this one bit. Brody scrambling. That ref is get out of there, bro. Tampa shoots. Blocked. Tavares out there. When did when did you get there? As the Leafs get it out. Thank goodness. The Leafs trying to get reinforcements over. They do. Tampa gains the zone. The Leafs gain it right back. Tavares into Kervon! Oh! Stopped by Vasilevsky. Matthews. He's going to go for a line change. The Leafs got three back. Here comes Tampa. Palat throws it in front. Tavares turns it back up the other way. Does Willie get it? No. Ice. Oh. Tavares feathers a pass into Kerfoot. Question Based from producer Rob. Tavares you good. Never better. Great pass in oh, Kerfoot had, had the game on his stick. Tries to go under Vasilevsky's arm. Now watch this. Okay, you can't quite do it. What a story that, that would have been. You can win that race. You're gonna beat Cal and there. that pass was out of Willie's reach. That's a big mistake. And he'll be out there with you know, Tavares on the draw. Kerfoot, Riley Bush. At least you don't have any like weird you know, broken lines out there. The Leafs managed to get it out. Here comes Willie, and there goes Willie. Lost it. Trying to get it off of Victor Hedman. Watch. Sorry, I froze there, but we got the feedback. Engvall puts it on. Can't believe that's the first freeze of the game. Ah! Vasilevsky gloves it. Ilya Mikheyev, game on his stick, series on his stick. Vasilevsky gloves it. And the Leafs 
Sliding back, look at the great flaw. Get the offensive zone draw. Brandon Hagel flubs it again. And then another good stick there by Engvall creates the chance for the game. Ilya Mikheyev. Imagine an absolute piss missile from Ilya Mikheyev is what ends it. I would love it. I would take it. I don't care who on the Leafs scores it. Just win, baby. Just win. Go Leafs go. Offensive zone draw. And we got a fourth line shift here. Jason Spets out there. Is this the actual fourth line, or does he have any special friends? We got Colin Blackwell, Kasha. It's just the fourth line. Bang! On! Love by Vasilevsky. Oh, Matthews is out there. He does have special friends. Oh! Well, Spezza won the faceoff. I was like, what the heck happened? Spezza won the faceoff, scampered off, and Matthews took the shot. That's the life of and it'll be the top line out there. Game for the opposing coach. A little under two and, two and a half gone here in overtime. overtime. The clock uh, doesn't really matter much anymore, so I haven't really I looked. It's overtime. Clear. Next goal wins, baby. That's how it works. Up the Marner can't hold the line. The Lightning, Tampa get it in deep. Paul doing a good job to gum up the He's works. The Killorn holding Giordano's stick. Marner able to come out with it. Leafs able to get out of the zone. And we got ice. Not too long of a shift. For the Leafs, you got to imagine the Lightning are going to get their weapons out there. I would think Stamkos. I would think Kucherov. I would think Palat. Probably Hedman and Chernak. Oh, no. We got the Sorelli line. I know that's who Cooper wants to match against the Matthews line, but I would have thought in the offensive zone maybe he'd go different. Kaloran throws it in front. Nothing doing. Bunting off the boards. Not out. Gloved at the blue line. Puck wide open. Blocked by Justin Hall. Matthews digging at it, trying to get it out. Maybe throw it behind the net if you can. Justin Hall doing everything he can. Giordano at least gets it behind the net. Bunting will try to... Oh, boy, what's happening? He does manage to use the air to get it out. He gets it right to Austin Matthews! Oh! Matthews gets it deep, and he needed the line change there. Lightning get it well deep without icing. Muzzin will have to go on his backhand. He's not able to leave the zone. Kerfoot gets it out, though. I've really zoned in on that here for game six because it just, every time the puck goes in or out of either blue line, feels so crucial. Nylander can't hold the line there. Tavares gets it to Kerfoot, who has looked dangerous, looking to make up for his mistake earlier in the game. And he was on the ice when the Leafs took a 3-2 lead. But Tampa tied it, and that's why we're here in overtime right now. Stamkos puts it on, gloved by Jack Campbell and little taps. For his teammates. Takes at this point, and here's Sorelli coming right down the pipe, and good positioning by Hall. Good box out in front by Giordano. Here's that shot from Stamkos. High, and Campbell, look at that little mm -hmm. shoulder. High. Nudge by Campbell, keeping it as high. Campbell as gets it. Got a piece of it with the shoulder, and drop down. And I can't believe we've already played over four minutes of overtime. Leaf shut down line out there with Riley and Bush. This drop against camp comes back to the line. That shot sails wide. Ryan Lightning McDonough put it on wide. McDonough gets it back. He throws it on wide. Lightning put it on wide. wide. Playing with fire here. Get it out. And they will. Labushkin gaining center to camp. The death stick. Oh, you know me. I want that story. I want it. That's been his spot, hasn't it, from a similar place. And For those of you who don't know, David Camp has the Deathly Hollow symbol from Harry Potter on his stick. The Death Stick, the Wand of Destiny. Muzzin, good read. Gets the puck out. Spezza! Oh, almost gains the zone as the Leafs get the fourth line out there. Foot. Uh, that will... What are we going to call that? It leaves play. No penalty. 
getting traffic in front of the net. There's two bodies. I think the draw in the Tampa zone, the lightning just shoo, shoo, foof, foof. I mean, if you're Campbell, how do you see anything? Camp throws it on, and that kind of squeaks through Vasilevsky a bit. He's beaten him blocker side twice in this series. Shots are 5 1 for the Leafs to start this overtime. That's got to make you feel good. Leafs big line out there. Braden Point looking for the right side faceoff win. Doesn't get it. The Leafs win it back. Hall to Geo. Geo on! Gloved by Vasilevsky. Shots now 6 1. Toronto Maple Leafs in this overtime. Matthews doing everything he can. Braden Point doing a good job to keep him to the outside. Matthews at inside position. Change the plan up. Matthews with another ozone draw, and he wins that back too. Marner didn't know where it was. Puck goes up and over the net. Is it still in play? Looks like it. Matthews holds it. Riley with it. Riley to Marner. Doesn't shoot. Holds it. Battle in front. Marner loses the puck a little bit. Matthews manages to keep it. Marner in. Oh, here we go. Oh, baby. Leafs keep the puck. Matthews to Marner. Marner dancing on him. Does he look tired of you? Matthews puts it on. And that'll go wide and it'll bay blade around. Riley's got to go back and get it. There's the 123 heart rate. You're lying. There's no way. Buck, buck 50 at least. Buck 50 at least. 100%. Riley carries it in. Gloved by Vasilevsky, and the Leafs will get another ozone draw. That Savaris line hasn't been out there for more than 10, 15 seconds, so I imagine that's what Keith wants for this. Oh, Marner dancing on him. If you win a series with a goal that beautiful, Never a bad play there as Morgan Riley. You just don't want to I miss love the him. net there for Riley. <laughs> have to go back the other way. Put it into the body and look for a rebound for one of your teammates. I got a buck 30 on my watch. In the overtime in favor of the Leafs. Oof. Six minutes gone. Heart rate monitor is not working right now. Just, it's high. Lightning breaking in. Foot up and over. Lightning will get a draw. And the puck out of play. Let me try to get this heart rate monitor back on. Oh my goodness, look at all those fans. Watching hockey outside is pretty fun. Watching it in the building is second to none, but watching it outside, that'll do. Whether you're in Toronto or Tampa, it's always a great time to watch a hockey game. Six minutes into this overtime here. 3-3, three, three, obviously, it's overtime. Defensive zone draw for the Leafs. Been a long time to get this set up. <laughs> Ref taking his time to drop this one. Both centers getting frustrated. Kutrov getting frustrated. And, a clean win and Camp wins it. And an aerial to Pierre Engvall. Is this ice? This is ice. Worth the shot. Actually, I don't know if it's worth the shot, man. You won that face off cleanly. You didn't have to do that. The Leafs, who have been getting out shot by the Tampa Bay Lightning for most of the game, have retaken the lead there. 32 shots to 31. But another defensive zone draw. Camp has to win it on the other side now, and he doesn't. Nick Paul with the win. Puck behind the Leafs' net. Nick Paul getting a little bit of space on David Camp. Camp doing a good job. Muzzin doing a good job. Where's the puck? Engvall can't get it out. Behind the Leafs' net again. It'll be up to TJ Brody. Use the air. Use the air. Gets it around to Muzzin, who has time and space to get it out. And he won't. It's offside. He does. Ooh, close though. It's a close so thing. Often in these types of situations, it's not necessarily the line that puts all the pressure on originally. It's heart rate is at a buck twenty. Gets a couple of changes. Sometimes you have disjointed lines, defense that get caught tired, and it's the next line or two that comes out and ends up getting the goal. Matthews and Marner line out there for a D zone draw. Or no, sorry, this was offside. Neutral zone draw. Clean win for Sorelli. 
So Lightning gained the zone. Traffic in front. Marner creates a turnover. Bunting with the great chip. Marner had a bit of a step. Hall. Giordano gets it deep. Can't handle the pass from Hall. Matthews looking to get it back to the point. It doesn't work. The Lightning will break out. Lightning look to get it on, and they do! Stop! Oh my goodness, what a block. As the Leafs get it out. Leafs top line has been out there for a while now. Marner gets it deep. They're looking to get a change. Almost a turnover to Marner. Leafs good pressure allows them to get the puck, but it's in their own zone. What an overtime. No shortage of scoring chances for either team. Kerfoot almost gets it in front to Willie. Leafs deep. Kerfoot, what a battle behind the net. Tavares in there to help him. Almost comes out with it. Gets it back to Kerfoot. Kerfoot drawn in two guys. Tavares and Kerfoot doing a good job. Two on three. And it looks like they're about to lose it here. Or maybe not. Kerfoot looking for the penalty. I doubt it, bud. Overtime in an elimination game. You can try. Puck hops over Labushkin's stick. Nylander fight. And he does. And he gets it out. Tipped by a leaf stick. At least fourth line out there on the ice. Blackwell hustling. Leafs have gotten a fourth line OT uh, playoff winner before. Talked about it just before the intermission. Watch the Leafs game with Steve Dangle presented by Molson Canadian. I'm Steve Dangle. Click like, click subscribe, tell all your friends. Jason Spezza ending this thing would be pretty cool. Anyone ending this thing would be pretty cool. As long as they're in a Leaf uniform. Muzzin puts it on. Through traffic, blocked. Kasha rushing to get back. Leafs clear it away from danger. Brody, what happened there? Did he trip over a stick? He'll get it deep. I'm trying to fix the heart app. Leafs, put it on. Ah, Hall can't hold the line. He'll get it deep. Probably not the best, or not the worst decision. He didn't have any foot speed. Basically standing still. If this doesn't get the heart rate monitor working, I don't know what to do. There's an errant stick, or a broken stick in the leave zone, gumming up the works. Lightning offside. Leafs break it out. David Camp, Wand of Destiny. The death stick. We approach 10 minutes of this third period for first overtime. And at that next whistle. Oh, baby. Minutes, Isn't this fun? If it's not Click like. Them, it helps. We've seen it happen in more than one game this series. Clicking like leads to Leafs goals. And a Leaf goal here. Oh, the lightning. Almost get a chance, but it's blocked. Campbell's made some big saves. The Leafs have done a great job blocking shots in front of them. Engvall gets it out. Morgan Riley gets it deep. Mikheyev, battering ram, putting pressure on. Leafs able to hold it in. Willie with a game on his stick! Shoot! Rebound! Oh! So close. Is the landing offside? No, they are not. Willie, interesting play, but it works. Gets it to Brody. Brody battling. Tavares in there, too. Uh. Oh. Tavares finally able to, get, able to get it. Leafs breaking it out. Tavares cuts to the net. Gets a shot, but it goes wide. Cheeky play. Matthews is out there now. Lightning want a penalty on Hagel. They're not going to get it. Kerfoot. Rebound covered up by Vasilevsky. And I'm sorry if the monitors, if the heart rate monitor is not working, I don't know what to do. I turned the whole thing off and back on and reopened the app. Yes, it did. Press play. Um, oh, here's that chance from William Nylander. Apologies that you can't see my heart rate monitor suffering. It's high. Just trying to thread one through a screen there as McDonough was in front of Vasilevsky. Good box out though by Hagel taking Matthew's stick. 
and Vasilevsky lets everybody breathe. Well, let's take a look at some of the chances so far to put it away. Yeah, the best one really in all alone was Kerfoot there. You saw him looking skyward. Now another turnover. Vasilevsky oh, and I'm back. <laughs> there we go. It's been mostly leaked oh, from the opportunity God. standpoint. And we got a heart rate. What? So, okay, cool. God, the Leafs have had so many great opportunities here in this overtime. Vasilevsky's been equal to them. Lightning have had some good opportunities. Giordano bending in a way that no human is supposed to bend, much less a 38 year old. Shots 9 2 for the Leafs in this third period. No question they've been the better team so far. But they were the better team in the overtime of Game 6 last year. Score. Just score. Tavares with two playoff overtime winners. Matthews has won two. It's funny, I'm like, when? Oh, Columbus. My brain really has erased that series from... You can't make the mistake. All you documentation. The down there and, hope he makes and you know what? Thank you, Brian. Thank you, Brian. I'm happier that way. Although, Matthew's uh, overtime winner in game four and that whole comeback was pretty dope. Under nine minutes to go here in this first overtime, but really uh, the amount of time left does not matter. It is overtime. Next goal wins. Leafs top line out there against Tampa Bay Lightning in the Tampa zone. The Leafs win the faceoff. Marna throws it on. It's blocked. A little bit of legal interference there from Chernak. Ooh, Braden Point. Great rush there behind the net. Marner in there to get it. He'll probably, yep, he looks for help. Matthews gets it out and down the boards. It's in the Tampa zone. Bunting scampering back. Still available in this first overtime period. Man, this has been some unbelievable hockey. Does this game not show how evenly matched these two teams are? It's been absolutely spectacular. Absolutely spectacular as the puck goes deep, and this will be ice. This will be icing. Another offensive zone draw for the Leafs. They've been able to get quite a few of those here in this overtime. Nikita Kucherov looking a little nervous. Uh, the Tavares line out there. Tavares, Willie, I imagine Kerfoot. Yep. Stamkos, high faceoff probability here against Tavares. And he wins. Oh, but Willie gets it. Kerfoot knocked down in front of the net, so Willie didn't really have an option. Gets it to the point. Leafs haven't really had any point shots this overtime. I'm sure they're afraid of the uh, the block turning up the other way. If you're the Leafs right now, there's not much reason to change what you're doing in this overtime. Uh, they're out shooting Tampa 9-2 at last check. Leafs get it deep. Is this ice? No, it is not. Tavares trying to put pressure on foot as the Leafs, I think, will get at least a couple bodies over the boards. Riley gets the puck down. He's got to calm it down, and he will. He'll get it out. The camp line is out there now. McKeon! Shot! Blocked! And the Leafs get it back. Muzzin up the boards. Engvall gains the zone, puts it in, and that is a pass. That was intentional for Brody. Brody's got to try to get it deep here because he's got to man that point. Mikheyev, not many races he loses, and he doesn't lose that one. Does the Leafs force another icing out of the Tampa Bay Lightning? Rightly so. The last line of defense, a little spin off, and... You know Tampa's in a little bit of survival mode lane, here. You're also in the lane of your goaltender's vision. So anytime the Cavs had two of the Leafs' better opportunities shot, to end this sure game get a piece of it in young here in overtime. Grab that one and not allow it to go through. Leafs win the draw. Here's Marner. Marner out there, finding some time and space. McDonough, Speed wobble, it. holds on to it though. Bunting able to get it behind the net. 
Marner gets it back. At least force the turnover. Oh. Marner in front. Matthews gets a piece of it, but not enough. Bunting comes up with it. Tries to get it back to Matthews. Does for a very brief moment. Oh, Marner stops a very a potentially dangerous Tampa rush. Tampa rings it around. Campbell, you get back in that net, or I will send you a shirt. I want Saturday night off. And, Giordano and I'm going to get it. Turns back, now flips it ahead. Leafs lift it out, and that'll be ice. Toronto, you wonder, God, ice there have been more icings in this uh, overtime than there have been in Giordano, the entire rest of the game, I think. A lot of times you catch guys at the end of the shift. Watch how quickly he closes the gap. All of a sudden, you're forced to make a play that you don't want to so you don't turn it over just inside your line. Leafs not loving the call. I'm not totally sure why. Tavares with a very key face-off in the leave zone, and he wins it. Back to Giordano, who wants to get the puck out more. Anybody, that won't be ice. Not enough for ice. The Leafs will get reinforcements over the boards. 14 minutes gone here in this overtime. Lightning game the zone. Braden Point, looking dangerous. Scott Sorelli with him, up and over. Lightning, still have possession, though. The Lightning really like to use the momentum of the boards. Like that got off the stick of uh oh. And the Leafs. The Leafs. Uh, the they'll Bushkin. probably get it out. I don't know why Labushkin's checking the clock. Don't. The Leafs get it out. Category. Get it out. Leafs in deep. McKayev partially cuts off that Vasilevsky pass. Not enough, though. Here comes Sorelli. They change in behind Sorelli. Sorelli blows a tire, leaves, get out of the zone. Colton doesn't know where it is. Bunting, little tap for Brody. Brody looking to get it in front. He's got to scamper back to the point. Marner, but, uh, ah! Muzzin gets it deep. Never a bad choice. Bunting in there. Gets it around for Marner. Matthews battling in front. Marner didn't have a stick to pass to. Brandon Hagel enters the Leafs zone. Lightning get a change. Leafs get it out. Blackwell. Ah! Gains the zone. They'll lose the puck. Marner's about to go off for a change. Here come the Lightning. They're attacking. They like this matchup, I think. Campbell, you got to watch out! along the end boards. Blackwell, the Lightning's fourth line out That's there, Maroon too. To Maroon has scored a series winner. You'll and remember the Maroon's double OT it. win for the Blues over the Stars Jordano in 2019. En route to what has Belmar. now been a uh, three-cup streak for Maroon. That's not a penalty? Giordano. Okay. We'll just call it a battle. Giordano gets it out with thanks to a tip. Here comes Kasha. Good move on Hedman. Hedman's been out there a while. Kasha flubs it. Tavares is out there now. Here's Tavares with Nylander. Ah, Tavares blows the tire, gets a deep. Kasha's got to scamper off for a change. Three and a half to go here in this first overtime period. Producer Drew, you wanted the LFR before midnight, and I want a Bugatti. <laughs> yeah, I don't think either is going to happen. Campbell gloves it. The Lightning will get an offensive zone draw. 3.15 to go here in this first overtime. Who doesn't love hockey? God, hockey. Puck management is something coaches talk about all the time. You can't afford that one turnover that might be the difference. And you can see it in the style of play here, the attention to winning the battles for the loose puck. Stamp goes on this face off, but Camp prevails for the Leafs. Muzzin off the glass, not out. Gipped in by Sergeyev. Now the Leafs got it out, and they may have an odd man break. Over the line, Camp trying to get it to McKeon. Camp in front. Engvall can reach it. Back to Brody, a bouncing puck. Under three left. Here in the first overtime. Engvall and Camp trying to bottle up the lightning and a stretch pass too far for Palat, but he did get a stick on it. 
So no icing. Jake Muzzin, who's had a terrific series for the Leafs. Now it's bunting. Matthews. Mitch Marner across, and it's tipped just wide. What a chance for Matthews on a great Marner feed. Back comes Sorelli. Anthony Sorelli in behind. Back to the line. Chernak gives it back, gets it back. Shot, and that. Uh, Giordano in front and wide of the net, and Matthews lost an edge at center. Back in comes Hagel. Centers, shot, rebound, scores! Braden Point! And the champs are still standing! One of the guys John Cooper was looking to tonight is the overtime hero tonight. So often in these overtime moments, you get a glorious chance of one end that almost goes in and somehow the momentum goes back the other way. It was Matthews and Marner. Marner with the quick shot. Matthews didn't quite get enough of it to get it towards the net. A close call at one end. The energy burst at the other. This is a basically a four on three. The puck's there for a second. Jack Campbell can't quite control the rebound. Campbell lost his balance. Hagel makes the play. Kalorn, there's the first save. Campbell tries to keep that pad down, but Braden Point on the doorstep said coming into this game, John Cooper needed more from Braden Point like he's done so often in these playoffs. He's kept the streak alive for the Tampa Bay Lightning. 18.04, the time of the game winner in game six. We'll see a Saturday night for game seven in Toronto. Ron? You got my audio? Okay, good. Great. And I don't know what happened there, but obviously while we had mic issues, the Leafs lost the game. I didn't even see how. That sucks. Well, I predicted Leafs in seven, so here we go. Here we go. Got a little cocky with the black. It was fun. I had fun. It's fun to believe. And I still believe. And on Saturday, I'll believe. We'll go back to blue. We'll go back to blue. Leafs are still winning the series. Three games to two when I'm in blue. So thank you everyone for watching this Watch a Leafs Game with Steve Dangle presented by Molson Canadian. I'm Steve Dangle. Click like if you like the stream. Click subscribe if you really liked it. Tell all your friends. See you Saturday.